Hello, 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 and welcome to March on Fey Wonders, session six. Happy Wednesday to you all. I hope you all are having a fantastic, uh, yeah, a fantastic day, a fantastic Wednesday, a fantastic week. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Already 10 out of 20 subscriptions just from the resubs alone. That's pretty awesome. Thank you again for your support. Very, very much appreciate that. Today should be a good session. It's <laughs> all of our sessions genuinely tend to be good sessions. Uh, but a little bit of housekeeping first before we unmute and begin the game. Uh, first and foremost, general disclaimer and warning about role play. Do the improv nature of role play today's session may contain adult behavior, humor, and situations not suitable for all audiences. If you're feeling uncomfortable, feel free to step away until you are. All VODs are uploaded on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash worldvio, where further warnings are given. Uh, if we deem it necessary or required. Uh, so, yep, just want to make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves, making sure you guys are safe. Yeah, this is supposed to be a, a good, fun time, but don't feel guilty if you're feeling, feeling off because of this. Feel free to step away at that point. Uh, and then second, uh, I want to let you know that during our D&D sessions, we have a strict no backseating rule. So please, no backseating uh, in the chat so as to not disturb the flow of the game. So report any incorrect missing rulings or mechanics to our rules lawyer channel on exclamation mark discord we appreciate uh those who backseat and you know we understand you're you're coming from a, a helpful place and i am thankful for that um but just so we don't ruin the flow of the game um yeah just make sure you post that over on uh our rules lawyer channel uh so that way i can check to see what's missed during the game uh i know we want to make sure we get it right all the time uh, sometimes that's not something that we can make happen uh but we will do our best to make sure that fewer future instances uh are reduced and don't happen um so again if that if something's done incorrectly or if you feel that Excuse me. Or if you feel that, you know, I, I missed a something or Mr. Mechanic or Mr. Ruling or, or whatever the reason, uh, please head over to our Discord, post in the Rules Lawyer section. I do read it, um, and I'll be sure to uh, see if we can fix in the future. All right. Without further ado, I will be unmuting right now to make sure that everyone is... Uh, everyone's doing good so He's hello everyone feet. how y'all doing there today? He is. Hello. 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 Hi. hello i I, I, Sweet I uh i always give it a just a just a minute to let you guys wrap up what needs to be wrapped up because i keep walking into weird not here uh but i keep <laughs> well here it would I, never be I, this too, group that would have the weird conversations that i you was were so talking about Every, what stuff? E I every, don't... <laughs> there it is. We uh, don't every, do that here. Every group. Every group. Every group. It's all good. <laughs> I just want to give people the fair warning so I, I never have to hear a player go, I didn't know you were unmuting. I did the best that I could. You know? You did. Or we yeah. have someone say passwords or something. That's bad. Yeah. What, 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 what group has it the worst, like, in terms of, like, unmuting into awkward conversation? Because my, my brain pipe goes dreamers. to pipe dreamers. Yeah, pipe I figured dreamers. as much. <laughs> pipe dreamers, absolutely. Was that, was, that the, was that the frozen egg group? No, that's the frozen egg group. Uh, that is the... <laughs> uh, what's it called? I think someone in chat would know if they do watch pipe dreamers. Uh, the It's the sea... The weird sea life that is extremely phallic. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. The the the, the, the G well, I I say geoduck. I know it's 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 said a different oh, way. Oh, the one that. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Google that on your own time. It sure Just has make... a lot of stuff. No. My yeah. own time or, yeah. or right now. Ah, you, yes. I, I I've given I have given the warnings. I've given you all the warnings. But uh. Mm. If there was ever a Pokemon named Geoduck, I would probably die. I would probably, I would be, that would be. <laughs> Geoduck, Geoduck. Like Geoduck. Be Geoduck. Well, with, with Pokemon fusions, everything is possible. Oh my God. My God. True. Oh my God. No God. <laughs> oh my God. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. 
There it is. It such a, and such the a raw reaction. My Very search. visceral reaction. There it is. Yeah. That's on my search. I d why didn't I do it? watch the videos. It's very I educational. Want, I have given my I warnings. Cognito doesn't hide from your ISP. People yeah. eat them. You should watch that. I have, given, I have given all warnings, and you have decided <laughs> as an adult to go about that. Yeah, I, uh, speaking what of poke. What did you think was going to happen? I mean, no. It's, 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 again, I've said all that need to be said. I've given that warning. And which means you can't be like, why didn't you tell me? And it's like, oh, I did. I fully, I, you, you absolutely do. Yeah, How could warned. I have known? You should have warned me, dude. No, my reaction should have been, I should call him. <laughs> wow. He, he's a he's a 10, but yeah, see, I get it. But he's a geoduck. There yeah, it is. But it looks like a geoduck. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, I, oh, I, I get I, it. I, no. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. All right, Pandora, Pandora, Pandora. Pandora Let's Pandora, do this. Pandora, Pandora, Pandora. Oh, <laughs> Um, completely forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I, I saw Pokemon fusions are now hot again in in the Pokemon community. Just want to let you know that I guys uh, guys I did that first 2016. Uh, so stop. Uh, you know, get off my back. Some would argue that Pokemon have always been hot, but yeah. I don't associate with those people. Yeah, I same. Yeah, same. Um, but uh, but yeah, you know, get off my back and maybe do something original, huh, PokeTubers? I'm glad wow. I really. Had a platform to say that, you know. Really. <laughs> I would also be clipped and sent out of context. Yeah, exactly. It's it's I would the also age-old content tradition: the yoink and twist. The yoink and twist. Uh, 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 I would also like to uh, further uh, reiterate: um, I was joking, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> I was kidding around. Haha. -ha. So if you do clip it and send it out of context, people go, "What the fuck?" I can then point to this part and say, "I was joking." You are part of the problem. That's right. You, you You're part of the debated. drama. And then we stay, and then I debate them. <laughs> Round two, punch drama. them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> You're just starting it's the whole joking. cycle over again. Big reversal, baby. Infinite loop. Infinite Most loop. of the stuff that's been clipped on my Twitch channel, I was also mostly joking. Yeah, I mostly <laughs> also. Which one wasn't I joking about? You'll never know. You'll <laughs> never know. 90% of my clips are probably me screaming in some way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, like howdy. Gorm. How well <laughs> Gorm. Um, howdy, gang. Uh March of Fay Wonder session howdy. six. Um Woo! I I sent everyone messages because and we'll talk about this if there does need to be a uh a pause, but it seems like there won't be a pause. Let's talk about uh, it now, Brett. I'm gonna Let's talk about really it get now. Get all our feelings out on the floor. Really want the drama. Of session six. Well, so this campaign was originally a ten session thing. Uh, we are currently starting technically session three, uh, and we are on session six. And knowing <laughs> knowing this group, by the time session three wraps up, it's probably gonna be about. Session seven to nine, depending on what you guys are doing. Um, now Camp I don't have, RP. Camp I, RP. I don't uh -huh. have a problem. Now I don't have a problem with this, but I did inform you guys that this was a ten session commitment. Brett is sick of us already. No, no, <laughs> no, I, no, 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 none of that. <laughs> none of that. If I was sick of you, I would tell it to your face and get the clicks. Now, come on, <laughs> content creation one hundred and one. We don't have like feelings. how you're about to get into a row with uh with, with PokeTubers. We don't. Kicks out Pandora. Yeah. Gets emotional. Gets emotional. <laughs> Yeah, and then Not I just clickbait. And then Cooley will 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 cry about it on her stream, and then I'll clip clip it, <laughs> and then I'll talk about it on my stream. We'll go back <laughs> and forth, and we'll make so much money. So wait, wait, much money. Wait, 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 hold We're on. We're joking no. about this chat. This is a joke chat. This, oh, chat. Yeah, this yeah. is a joke. This is a little joke. Joke. Sides will be divided, but both uh, both sides will grow in viewership because of that juicy, juicy drama. Yeah, and all it just took was the sacrifice of our very souls. Uh, but <laughs> and yeah. friendship. And friendship, exactly. <laughs> red circle drama, red circle. We're not real people. Well, the bottom, bottom line is... There you go. Uh, the bottom line uh, here is... Uh, it, it, um, are we cool continuing beyond the 10th session? Is everyone okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, then that is. Uh, that's I'm cool. All. I'm cool that never ending. Actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Six okay. seasons in a movie. D and D okay. till the end of time. Yeah. There we okay. go. Can I just yeah. not stop. Okay. All right. Well, this is that... my favorite D and D group I've ever been in. Oh, the D stands oh, for. Oh, oh, oh buddy. God. That was. Shh, that was. Anyone. That was that was clip it, clip it, and send it to every D and D group I that that really has been. There. I was joking. <laughs> send it to I all the other I groups to be like, "You're inferior." <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> transformed into everyone just being I was you know what the joking. difference between our group is Do it. I don't have party members I have family oh my oh. god oh so good oh, my heart I'm Toretto he's here he's here oh my god there he is he's about to do he's about to, he's, going, he's going too fast too furious look at what him, kind of man. car would Kagami have <laughs> Kagami is definitely the Dom Toretto of this body. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he definitely lives his life a quarter mile Fair, at a time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, my favorite line. You know the thing about street fights? Sometimes the... No, 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 no. It was like... The, I don't. I forget if it was the line was the street always wins or sometimes the street fights back or something like that. <laughs> and then he like he Donkey Kong like pounded his his foot into the ground that literally caused this entire roof to crumble with the whoever he was fighting. It was really yeah. It's, uh, I found, let, I found the quote. Who let people it's, make these movies? Says, I says, love it. Uh, yeah, it was it. The street always wins. Yeah, the, the street, street always, always wins. wins. <laughs> yeah. The thing about street it's fights, like... the street always wins. Man, that street's yeah. really good. What it a great fighter! So my God, like, 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 Fast and the Furious <laughs> will and always will be my favorite anime of all time. <laughs> if you haven't watched all of them, and I mean all of them, you should do yourself a favor it's and true. do that because no, it's actually it's actually Tokyo true. Drive. I, I, it's, I know in the uh, in the newest one they go over the uh, the uh, oh what was it? I haven't like, watched I haven't watched the newest one yet because that that one I got a little I was getting a little tired I was like okay, well, oh, just a touch <laughs> burned out on it I get yeah, you yeah yeah but they, I do I do need to I do need to watch it I do need to watch it yeah, I won't say anything then because yeah. it's, it's a good um, Game of Thrones is in it <laughs> yeah oh, I love her and that's uh, that's also yeah Game of Thrones is also the same thing where it's like yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let uh, us... On, listen, Game of Thrones just broke my heart and just really phoned yeah. it in, you know? So hopefully yeah. we won't do that with this campaign, but hey, we'll see what happens, you know? <laughs> Final session. Fingers yeah. crossed. Dragon <laughs> shows up. Like... right before the end. <laughs> <laughs> I put you guys on a completely just black map. You're just like, what? And you're like, yeah, it's a field, it's a battlefield, but it's really dark. You can't see what's going on. <laughs> That's a Game of Thrones joke, guys. That's a Game of Thrones <laughs> nice. joke. Okay. All right. Well, now that I've embarrassed myself even further, it's time. Uh, it's time. Session six has begun. You guys have uh, uh, recently acquired a uh, new friend. New friend. Um, uh, uh, the one and only Almond Gill, a.k.a. Gill. Hello there. There's Gill. Gil. Hello there. Gil He's pretty cool. Us. Hello Gil. there. Almond Gil. Gil. <laughs> yeah, Gil gives a small woody wave over to you guys. I give him Gil, a skeleton wave, wave back. Woody? Dude, chill. We just yeah. started. Helicopter. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she's, she's doing it again, Brett. <laughs> no, no. But it's the kind of energy that I love in this session. <laughs> see, this, see, all I have to do is just say silent. Cooley can you feel me say staring. Hello, I, cool. Yeah, I they immediately cool. get embarrassed when you don't respond. <laughs> oh, dude, wow. he's waving his wow. Woody. I could wave my boner. The way we... <laughs> hey. 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 There we go. Yes, um, there it is. There it is. Wednesday, we'll put, it. <laughs> put, it the, put it on the bingo. Ribeye waves his boner. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, you guys have recently retreated from the abandoned keep after facing off against a Possessed Alban Alman Gill, uh, destroying uh, an orb of shadow. Uh, Alman Gill has realized, has revealed to you uh, that they were a essentially a possessed individual <clears throat> that was part of a greater plot uh, for denizens of the Shadow Vale to tear through and once again uh, invade the Prime Plane. Uh, an attempt has not been made for uh, I think a I think it's been a thousand 
around about a thousand years now. Um, but this seems to potentially, maybe, perhaps, uh, be the first genuine attempt uh, at invasion once again. Uh, the details are a bit fuzzy. Uh, all was known was that Almond Gill, as a uh, as the vessel, uh, was to use their Fey Wonder powers to essentially somehow, some way, uh, rip a tear uh, that will allow uh, denizens of the Shadow Vale uh, to teleport through Fey Wonder and arrive in mass uh, over to. Io. Actually, that's not true. Uh, there, um, there is an uh, for um, for those in the know. Uh, there is always a threat looming of an ongoing invasion uh, from the Shadow Vale, uh, because in the ruined Ark of Asmodia, uh, there is this giant tear uh, known as the Shadow Gate, uh, where the Sentinels of Etropa. Um, are try are consistently and vigilantly uh, defending uh, against the nasty creatures uh, between the prime plane uh, and the shadow veil. So uh, it has been in a stalwart for quite. It's been in a standstill for quite some time. But perhaps the creation of a new shadow gate. The plan is uncertain. But what needs to be known is that uh, the the Ark of, of Northern Ishtar is greatly in trouble uh, if the denizens of Shadow are trying to invade through Northern Ishtar. So, <clears throat> let me do a thing. You guys have retreated with, uh, with Gil, as you guys have decided it would be easier. Uh, and it's everyone's favorite time of day. Oh. By day, I mean night. <laughs> it's Camp RP, ladies and gentlemen. Camp <laughs> RP. Let's go ahead and get that clap. Long awaited return. <laughs> uh, let's give that clap. Almond. Yeah, that's. Wait, wait. Did we decide our loot rewards? Oh, we did yes. Did not. oh yeah. I forgot also, about that. I, did also, you... Almond Gill is holding my pan flute. Don't want anyone to forget that. Oh yeah. yeah so uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, Almond Gill definitely gave a gave a toot. A little toot toot. <laughs> so cute. It was so cute. That's the only note Almond Gill knows. <laughs> You're doing great, Almond Gill. Thank you, friend Pandora. <gasps> I, I appreciate this. Please, you may call me Gill if it is easier, but I am thankful that you were to use the name that I was created with. Yeah, no, I kind of sneezed, actually, but... Oh, all right. Thank you, Gil. Yeah. Toot. Toot. <laughs> he Sorry. really loves that note. He just loves it so much. There's more than one? Well, I think so. Pandora knows all of them. Oh. Pandora takes out uh, her violin, and she uh, plays another note. Like a blim. Mm. See, that's a note, too, yeah? Uh... You'll see Almond Gill walk up and slowly hand you back the, the pan flute. Teach All me, right. friend Pandora. <laughs> Sorry, that's Laurel reacting. You're clearly <laughs> reacting, not Pandora. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Pandora uh, actually grabs it and she wipes it off on her corset and she starts to play a little tune. Hmm. Even though that you've attempted to wipe it off uh, as you... <laughs> cursed, cursed. Oh no. Oh uh, no. As you go for the pan flute, you realize that there's a little bit of sap uh, where the actual area is. Mm. That you that you do the do the toot do the toot toot. Uh, hmm. It's just a little bit of sap uh, you would assume from Almond Gill. I, you know, and I don't think Pandora would react to it. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't even clean her clothes. So mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just kind of, she sees it. She kind of rubs it on her corset. She notices a little sap get on her corset and she's like, oh, yeah, it looks kind of nice, actually. And then she starts playing a little tune. <laughs> oh. Uh, go ahead and roll a performance check, please. All right. <laughs> oh, this will be good. Uh, let me see. 18. Uh, 
to the rest of you, a beautiful melody is played uh, with the pan flute. Almond Gill, you believe, would have reacted the same way, whether performed well or poorly. Uh, just gives a nod and say, fascinating. Yep. Well, thank you. Usually people like applaud after or like, I don't know, like. Uh, what, st what is this? Uh, this ritual? Hashtag please clap. <laughs> <laughs> what is this ritual you speak of? To applaud. Well, <laughs> um, this is uh, so you kind of you kind of like clap your hand. You, uh, Pandora just starts doing it. She's like this. I don't know. How do you? Oh. This. Yeah, I, and it I, usually means that we're showing appreciation. Like, oh my god, that was really nice. Yeah. Uh, Almond Almond Gill will just kind of like place both palms of their hands together. And just keep it there. <laughs> and that's how Alban Gill shows appreciation. It's and a single one. It's a single one, uh, but Alman Gill keeps their hands together. Um, Pandora kind of And then, and then drops the it down thing. to the side. Yeah, and drops it down to the side. <laughs> Thank you, um, friend Pandora, for teaching me the ritual of your land. Yeah, friend Gill. Thank you for being just a wonderful joy to our camp, yeah? Alban Gill blinks a little uh, with maw mouth open and state, oh, You honor me with such accolade. He's very polite, isn't he? He's very nice. Just don't look at how we lit the fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Alman, Alman Gill will look over to the fire, just kind of slowly walk and lean down. Uh, be careful! Oh, yes. No, we, we have this uh, over in Feywonder. How did you create this? Uh, well, you see what's burning below is uh, pieces of, 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 of uh, fuel dug up from the ground uh, and solidified so no, that I, way they could burn. I see the wood. And God I damn it. And I understand the fire. <laughs> However, how did you create the fire? Probably by rubbing two rocks together over the dry wood. You have a mastery of the flame. You are attuned to the element. Very uh, impressive. Oh yeah, check this out. I pull out the trombone, face north, and, and blow into it. <laughs> All the killed struggles looking up as you just oh. see this. Wow. That is most impressive. And I was surprised you did not do use such a thing against <laughs> me during our combat. Uh, yeah. I didn't want to turn you to ash, I guess. I appreciate Not really a threat at first. I appreciate your caution. If I were ever to turn <clears throat> against you, though, for whatever the reason, please do not hold back. Something I'm going to put the bell straight in your face and then blow. Thank you. <laughs> for if I am to face you in combat again, I am most certain that I would not hold back if possessed by shadow. Alban Guild then looks down, staring at the flame and just face mute and say, says, even though I am released from this captivity from Shadow, I would not be surprised if the curse lingers upon me. Oh, Almond Gill. Well, that's as, frightening. As if part of some elaborate plot. It's okay. There's an ogre inside me. <laughs> yeah, we'll accept you. We might beat you up. Oh, yeah. Bit, though. I forgot about that. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't exploded yet. <laughs> yet is the it's key true. word. It's true. He hasn't exploded yet. Nothing, uh, to, oh. no, nothing to fear, my friends. I am merely stating because you seem to be very emotional. And this is eh, suitable. This is fine. But I don't want those emotions to betray you if I were to turn again. We only assume that my captivity from Shadow has been broken. 
but maybe what? it's been suppressed. You I know. genuinely don't know. Gil, with that attitude, uh, yeah, you probably will fall for it. I think you should change your attitude. You just made some friends, yeah? And we believe in you, and we will do our best to make sure that once again, we do not hurt you, and we remove possession, and all that business, you know? You're gonna be okay, and we're gonna be okay. You see, as Alman Gil turns, it's almost the sound of branches and trees just creaking, and Almond Gill states, Well, this isn't a perception of sour attitude. I am simply trying to be real with the situation that's happened. Mm. We see some shit. I think we're ready for it. I'm, I am indeed <laughs> grateful to meet each and every one of you, and I would wish not to hurt you. However, we must understand the reality of what we face. Denizens of the Shadow would not hesitate to hold back and, if possible, to use me as weapon again, may do so. Um, I have well. a question around that, if you don't mind. The creaking sound of Almond Gill's head turns. Go ahead. Uh, you, you, do, were you aware of the... You keep calling it Shadow. Do you mean just the, the presence of the magic, or was there a specific being in control of you? Do, do you know who they were, or, or uh, are you sort of referring to the shadow as this sort of a presence of, of the actual veil itself? Hmm. Alman Gill has to think for a moment. I am unfortunately unfamiliar with the horror nature of magics from shadow. Uh, however, uh, the one that was possessing me was a an, an was an Umbrani, the same Umbrani that houses themselves within in the, the castle. Within the castle. Do you think it's possible they they obviously possessed you, Almond Gill? But do you think it's possible they could try and possess one of us as well? That is uncertain. Hmm. The Umbrani seems to be very familiar with the magics and creatures of the Fey Wonder, probably as part of their elaborate plot to tear mm. the veil open. However, okay. since you aren't denizens, and then you'll see that, uh, you'll uh, see slowly uh, Almond Gill walk up to Gloria, staring upon Gloria's mm. ears. Hello? Are you Lagomon? Well, I, I, I'm sort of. Uh, well, I, my, my, my mom is Lagomon. Uh, I'm half. I'm half Lagomon. Half. It's not Lagomon. really something I talk about. No, it, it, I know it's a bit weird. It's a bit strange. It's, it's not super common, but um, yeah. Hmm. Any Almond Gill will tilt their head, and again, their 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 face almost emotionless, like a wooden mask. Um, but their 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 words are filled with warmth, and they say. You are an emissary of the Fey Wonder, whether you realize it or not. What? I certainly don't realize it. Um, an emissary sounds very, uh, sounds like I've got to do a lot of speaking and, and things like that, but, uh, the, what does that mean? The Lagomon are a race native to the Fey Wonder. If you are to say that you are, uh, the, 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 the byproduct of a denizen of Fey Wonder, and a denizen of your plane. Well, that is a rare story to behold. Mom, 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 mom doesn't really speak about uh, a lot. She, she, I mean, she, I sort of knew that she was connected to the Fey Wonder, but I, I didn't realize the sort of extent, but... Um... Please, please understand. Your birthright does not dictate your responsibility. Merely that peace can be, can take place between our oh. people of Fey Wonder and the oh, people yes. of your plane. Oh, yeah, well, I, yeah, oh, certainly, I, I, I very much agree. Um, I just hope I sort of live up to the sort of expectations, I guess. No expectation. Merely... Uh, maybe are, not from you. You, you are already the product of, of a wonderful ending. But we'll see what stories you have to write. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Gil. (laughs) 
and you'll see Almond Gill kind of walk over. It just as they slowly walk around, again, it's just the creaking of wood just echoes the campsite. Almond Gill will look over to Ribeye. And what of you, friend? Oh, I Where? came out of the ground one day a couple months ago. But who brought you back? I don't know. Hmm. You see, the creation of your kind, instead of a, and I pardon my rudeness, a undead abomination controlled by the dark magics of necromancy, typically tapped from the Shadow Veil. But you see, you, however, you have a, a mind of your own, a personality of your own. That is a creation gifted from the magics of Feywood. Huh. <laughs> I don't know if Ribeye said that or Tom said that. That was, that was ribeye. I know, it just, the sound was just like, it was part of it was <clears> like, <throat> huh. <laughs> my, my, I was like, what? <laughs> I meant to put a little bit of falsetto into it, but my no, voice no, has been going oh, the no, past couple days. No, you're good, you're good. It just cracked me up. Like, Tom just being like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it about this character oh, I made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so Mr. Ribeye's sort of sentience is because of the Fey Wonder? The magic's a Fey Wonder, or at least and brought a new personality upon this vessel. Interesting. So, is it possible that that, uh, that Ribeye's personality isn't even the person whose bones he they are, is? Uh, you oh, will you, you will see. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to figure out the. <laughs> I'm going three steps ahead i'm trying to figure out the name um almond gill will turn over and just kind of look down upon the flame almost dejected and uh stated um and will just state alas i am uncertain of the, the nature of skeletons risen by the magics of fey wonder whether the personality itself is created upon uh, Fey Wonders of because of uh, Fey Wonders proxy, or if it is a personality that they were once risen with in their mm. mortal shell form, uh, that is something I would have to to ask of my parent. Oh. I mean, it would explain why I don't remember anything when these bones, these old bones, had flesh on them. It's always safe to ass it's always best to assume skeletons and and zombies and. The undead risen by magics of Fey Wonder. It's as if you've been given a second life. In Fey Wonder, we call this reincarnation. A new chapter, or rather, an entirely new book. That's the a magic the theory I hadn't considered. The history of yourself may not relate so much to who you are currently. And diving into the past of who you once were would probably give more of a certain trivia of your background, but certainly does not build upon the individual that you are now. You write the story, for it is not yet written. It has somehow made me have a whole existential crisis. I mean, what if one day our bones are risen and they're not us? I mean, Ribeye, it's wonderful that you're your own person. You're a wonderful person. But what if... What if... I need a moment. Does this... Well, if that's this... the case, then I thank whoever, whoever's bones are giving me life right now. Even if they're not mine. Friend Pandora, why does this concern you? Um, well, here's the thing, yeah? Um, there's some people who can live for a very long time. And then there's some people who do what we do. And maybe they don't live for a very long time. But 
life is actually really beautiful. And while I want to keep people safe, I don't want to miss out. You know what I mean? I mean, if I had missed out, I wouldn't have met any of you. And you all are wonderful. Anyway. Pretty and she just kind of shoves the pan flute in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Almond Gill will sort of look over, almost as if an inquisitive child. Do you fear death? Well... Yeah. <laughs> a question yeah. coming from an entity not a few hours ago was trying to kill us. <laughs> Even yeah, if it wasn't yeah. of his own will. I mean, don't we all? I, why wouldn't we? I mean, we don't know what happens after that. And like, like I said, it, you know, it's really cool being here, making friends. Nature's great. Touching grass, all that jazz, you know, the business. And if we leave, then we leave and we don't know where we go. That's scary. The unknown. It's scary. Almond Gill will tilt their other head, like or let their other, like tilt their head the other way, and say, "Oh, I mean, we all know what happens after death. These bodies, this, this these vessels that we occupy, uh, they become the earth. They return to nature." to feed the grass that is underneath your feet, provide nutrients for the trees that protect you and surround you. We're and all you, food. You'll return, of course, with no memory of your previous life. But the cycle shall continue. At least that is for us denizens in, in the Fey Wonder. Almond Gil will then raise up their their right sort of gnarled, gnarled, gnarled um, hand as you kind of see the sparkle, the blue energy that's been, you know, hovering around this area. This is Fey Wonder. The energy from Fey Wonder. Entities and, and beings that manifest themselves, reconstruct themselves. And with that, oh, a new book is written, a new book is started. This is. Do you like happens. reading? This is what happens after your your defeat, your or your demise. I mean, when you put it that way, I guess it does sound kind of lovely. I like reading. I just hope that maybe someday other people will read my book. Hmm. If you have a story to tell, I don't see why not. Yeah. Well, I say record it. Do you have, do you have like a do you have a book and a, and, and some like some qu a quill and ink on you? That's actually a really lovely idea, Ribai. You know what? I I think I do. Um, and uh, I do believe Pandora was writing in a book in the first session, but I can't remember what she wrote down. So she's gonna take out that journal and she's gonna just start writing down this conversation mm. word for word. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh boy. That was a conversation. Um, hmm. Yep. Oh, we should probably, I mean, not that I want to pry or anything, uh, Kagami, but, um, do you, do you want to talk about what happened or are we just going to nope. pretend? No. Nope? Uh, okay. That's fine. If you, if you don't want that, that, you know, it's okay. Um, that's fine. Oh, Almond Gill's off by Almond Gill. No, Almond Gill just walks off a little bit <laughs> and uh, will turn over. And as you say, uh, I often, Almond Gill will uh, state, I have no need for rest. And if you wish to rest, <laughs> if you wish to rest your vessels, I shall keep watch if you wish. Is and then you're going to go climb a tree or something. Right here so it should suffice. Hums tree. I don't mean any disrespect, Gil, but uh, you were the one who was just saying that you could turn back at any time, so I think we, uh, some of us will be keeping, uh, keeping tabs on things. Understandable. And also a good plan. Alright, who's hungry? 
Uh, for your cooking uh, all the time, always. All right, do you want something I've made before or should I experiment again? Experiment. <laughs> experiment. 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 <laughs> yeah. I think when in doubt, experiment every time. I, I, the only reason I ask is because the hardy suit does give the plus two to uh, to the highest ability, and that could be useful for for the upcoming day. Yeah, but it's not as fun Spare as you me. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> gamba. <laughs> but what about the gamba? But what of the gamba? Uh, give me one quick second. Do I even have the money to do that? Anymore? You should. You should. Um, you I, should. You got loads of money. Um, I I think it's because uh, since everyone leveled up, it resets everyone's uh, or or not. What did all your money? Yeah, some people don't have. Um, oh, yeah, money. I'm poor now. I have no money. <laughs> That's fine. I uh, so <laughs> what? I, well, I've got artifacts. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to. Um, let me go ahead and change some things. We do also have to determine what loot we're getting. From yeah, that, go uh, ahead and determine what loot mm -hmm. you're getting while I add some things. I wanted to make a or cog in the awkward. Got me. Um, let's see. We had discussed, and I put it in chat. So we wouldn't forget. We had discussed <laughs> uh, channel spell and combat surge. Yeah, the ones Same that we were like. Those are two good abilities that we could use. Yeah. I don't remember what combat surge did. I remember channel spell was like, you just get an improved version of certain spells. I think it was uh, one use. Uh, it, it, you use it, and then your initiative becomes the first initiative uh, oh, for right. that round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the for the so, first, so the first round of combat, uh, your initiative is at the top. But only for the first round, and then you use your initiative uh, as normal uh, mm -hmm. in in future rounds. I had uh, I had suggested that because if if I got it, then mantle I could just go straight into mantle of inspiration. You all could choose where you wanted to go. Yeah, yeah. we get a free move and right. temporary hit points to kick off the encounter, which is pretty good actually. Getting like five temp HP and a free move before the combat even starts is pretty wild. Um, yeah, I, like there was nothing on there which I think like I had super strong feelings about. So I'm I'm really happy just with whatever. If somebody thinks that they've got like a, if there was a reward which was a good item for them, like I'm I'm happy to just go with that because there was nothing on there which I think was like stood out that I could think of. So okay, give me one second. That's okay. We'll okay. say I also liked the idea of poison spray for Pandora because. I feel like it's fitting for her character, but like mm -hmm. also I don't I'm I want to think for the whole group, not Pandora. But um, I apologize for interrupting Tom. Yes. You don't happen to remember how many credits he had on you, do you? Nope. OK, it was like <laughs> quite a lot. I remember a bunch. because I had the I had because I, I got the other uh, the, the card from the townsfolk. Gotcha. That's why I had that. But uh, but like we've done quite a bit since then because we bought the supplies. Yep. Um, I've experimented on, three times with notes. food, uh, Ooh. and then I helped Kagami with, uh, with his, uh, um, blacksmith, I think, uh, like, once or twice. Yeah. Um, well, I, I will... only put it in for that once. I think the first time was, uh, Gloria and Vidalia. Yeah, I definitely paid for some stuff as well. Because I think I had about, like, 300 or something credits left. Okay. Uh, I remember looking at my sheet, and I had about 300. Yeah, we were all adding, like, 50 each, right? Yeah. And I think after I paid for that 50, I had about 300 on me. All right, then I'll put you at 300. And then with this uh, with this uh, loot wealth feature, I'm hoping that won't overlap again. Um, and then we should be good. So I'm going to put 300 credits for Glory. I put 250 for Ribeye, 250 for Kagami. Um, this could all, This is also from credits that you guys have uh, have found. Um, oh, yeah. And then you guys have from the townsfolk. You also got a, th a thousand from the townsfolk, correct? Yeah. And I've got the cost of the stuff we bought. Like, I've actually still got that in my notes. Okay. Um, what was the cost? We, and then I'll just reduce it. We spent 450, 465, 470, uh, 480, uh, uh, 4625 total. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say... 625. Sorry for moving you, bud. Um, ribeye is currently at 800 credits then after everything that's been spent and done along with all this other stuff hey. that was there uh, Pandora's at 430 credits does that sound right yes Please? okay <laughs> yes <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Like I it said, just, I just, it was just the way you said it. It was just yeah, like it, yes. it, was, it was very suspicious. It's the very, way you're like, a lot of yes. Oh, no. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, and then for uh, Vidalia. Do you yeah, Tom many, has the artifacts as well. Do you remember yeah. how many credits you had? Oh. For Kelly? Kelly? Hello? Kelly might have Actually, I have away. no idea. Okay. <laughs> I'll put uh I'll put 200 credits then. I mean yeah, yeah, I know I helped a lot like when people needed stuff. Well, mm -hmm. also, also because of the uh, encounter, you guys would have had a, a a little bit of gain of credits as well from the level up. Um, yeah. and you'll continue to find more credits as you go along. Um the wealth <laughs> systems kind of turned more into a DM's tool than an actual playing mechanic. Mm -hmm. So it just allows me to be like, ah, so this is the wealth everyone should be at. And it just helps me as you continue to like find stuff mm -hmm. and spend you know things like that i can continue to have you guys find ways cool. to make money um Cheers. for now hold on let me make sure the features is still copied for the craft yeah the blacksmithing recipes features are still there awesome okay i have uh so for the wealth uh we've got uh glorious got 300 credits and then let me know what you guys if this sounds wrong pandora's at 430 uh kagami is at uh 250 i think i remember oh. being broke yeah I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I was and I, and that's the thing is i i'm now thinking about it because you, you had to get credits from other people so i'm gonna put your credits to zero yeah. for now how's yeah. that sound <laughs> i'm pretty sure he was like low yeah yeah he yeah. was low to non-existent uh ribeye is gonna be at 800 credits i so Yes. All the money that I had at this point was from the card we got from the townsfolk because I spent all my credits before on, on scat mm -hmm. bucks. Ah, okay. So I don't think I'm at 800. I'm probably close to like 300. We also have the artifacts. Uh, what was yeah. the total? What was the total price again? Um, uh, 625 credits. All right, so 475 is what you'd be at then. But then I also spent money on experimenting with food. 375 is what you're at then. There you go. Okay. All right. That sounds about right. My apologies. I uh, didn't realize it was going to overwrite your. Uh, it, we're still That's learning cool. the D&D Beyond import um, from level ups, which tend to do wacky stuff. And we've slowly been patching things out. So we, we fix things so it's smoother than it was before. Um, but then a thing will happen and be like, oh, yeah, I guess I don't really take that. All right. Well, that's good enough. That's good enough. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, we like, well, yeah. I guess we can, can just take snapshots or whatever. But is there a way to like save our sheet in, in Foundry or something? I just did. So I essentially gave you guys a piece of loot called Wealth. Um, and that way, when it imports, because it's an item that I've added into Foundry, um, oh, it won't over, it won't, oh, it won't okay. override. So then that's how, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Also, I have included as part of uh, Ribeye's wealth, uh, Orcish artifacts. Once that is uh, nice, once that is there, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Why do I feel like uh, I'm gonna do the fucking cartoon thing where I open up my wallet and a dust cloud Mom. comes out and goes like? <laughs> Oh, well, that that uh, that definitely happened. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the moth flies out. Yeah. All right. So. All uh, righty then. Okay. Uh, yes, it is currently the evening hours, which means camping. Uh, for those that are interested in a craft, uh, as you guys are do, doing that, just kind of expand upon the crafting rules. You can take one project per day. Um, with that project being finished at the end of the day. So every time you experiment, for example, um, that is a project that you uh, complete and do. Keeping shit really simple. Uh, if you do choose uh, one of the weapons that you can dismantle to learn a recipe, uh, that is considered a project. Um, but uh, yeah, what, uh, what are the two items that you guys have decided? <laughs> we Let's haven't really... Talk, I talk think, much about I it because really I, I think we're definitely think... getting combat surge, but like, yeah. poison, but we also were, we're thinking sure. we're thinking about poison spray as well for uh, for Pandora. I think like it, the easiest way to do it is like if there's nobody else has any other ideas, like Pandora takes the poison spray or whatever they wants, and then when we if we get another loot table, the, the fake blade might it. be a good pickup because I can disassemble it and then just put it on stuff. Allow me to place your true. combat yeah. rewards again, so you guys can. Decide. Brett, on what uh, Brett like if I do. have a recipe learned, I can just apply it to something as a project, right? Yep. Yeah. We can, we can turn um, it to Gil if we get number two. Just keep in mind that typical recipes uh, will have a cost higher than just experimentations. So. Mm. 
So it's not going to be 50 credits. Uh, what, what, uh, I think actually have a table for, uh, weapon crafting now. So, um, or like, a, a, like I've, I've written it down actually officially. Uh, uh, what were you thinking about making? Well, if I, if we got the blade of Fey Wonder, like disassembling it and then applying Fey Flame to a weapon. Ah, so disabling it will give you the recipe. You won't be able to apply it right away. Right, and that, but then the next time we have yep. camp, that can just be a project that I can just do. Yep. And it doesn't have a cost? Uh, it does. It absolutely has a cost. Uh, let me see what the, the cost is. One second. To apply? Yes. But the good news is because you have the recipe, uh, you can spend, you can apply it to multiple weapons. Okay, um, okay. so... Is the cost of applying a recipe cheaper than the cost of experimenting? No. It's actually more expensive. Because uh, you know what you're going to get, I'm assuming. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so... Maybe I'll just experiment with my sword I was, was going to say the other thing as well is like you already know the <laughs> lightning recipe on Kagami. So that's already like a damage boosting weapon sure. mod. So the, um, the, 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 essentially the, the, the forceful weapon that you would get, the Fey, the Fey Flame, which is force damage, uh, would have a 300 credit cost to apply. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, but if you critically hit, uh, it'll be at a at a discount, uh, and if you critically miss, you lose some of the material components. Okay. Um, I don't think we need the Fayblade then. Uh... In that case, I would say let Pandora. If Pandora, do you want uh, the poison spray? Did you oh, say? I apologize, oh. chat. Um, so at the end of the last session, I said they didn't level up, and then between sessions, I changed my mind and said, <laughs> "Yeah, uh, actually, you guys do level up." But I forgot to tell you, chat. I'm so sorry for the continuation. Uh, but uh, but yes, uh, yes, everyone is currently level four. Woo. Yay! Woo! Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cooley. You wanted yeah. the, the reason you wanted poison spray is that because you just want like more offensive spells, or do you want specifically a, an offensive cantrip? I would like an offensive cantrip that would actually, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, I did add, th I did prepare thunderclap after we leveled up, though. Okay. So I felt I, I don't know. I just, I poison feel like. Range that... yeah. yeah. The other and thing I was thinking is if you want also very Pandora. I feel I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, sure. But... Absolutely. It was just more if you wanted like more offensive spells. Spike growth is also very, very good. But yeah, I mean, like I'm happy for you to take the poison spray, and then I think that the next time we get a loot, like it just means that, you know. We we prioritize other people, right? Like yeah. it's the easiest yeah. way of doing yeah. it. So, we'll it, so you guys don't mind then? No, not, not at all. Pandora. Cool, because I, I just feel like I was lacking offense last yeah last session. So yeah, it's oh. good, and then we'll we'll just prioritize the other uh, three party members next loot table. Okay, so uh, the two items: the tome of uh, poison spray uh, and the uh, the manual of uh, combat surge. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, who will be teaching? Who will be learning combat surge? I will be. Ooh. All right. Uh, Pan two bards, baby. Pandora, yeah. you have learned the spell poison spray. This cantrip does not take away from your current cantrip slots, so it, it literally adds into another. Uh, you get an additional cantrip upon the cantrip that you already have. And ah. one moment, Ribeye. Pandora definitely spends the night actually reading the tome in her tent. <laughs> Ribeye, you have gained the feature Combat Surge, which at the first round of combat, you could take your initiative at the top of the round. Notice I how feel it, the power. Notice how I said can and not do, meaning if you decide for whatever reason not to, you mm -hmm. don't have to. It's good. If you're already going to go higher on initiative, it means you don't have to spend it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Is it a once oh. per day thing or is it once per uh, no. combat? Always. A once per combat. Wow. So you just choose if you want to be it's at the wild. top of the first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a great, great way to strategize. Uh, just this is like I'm going to do an OC note and then I'm going to do it IC. Uh, but one of the things Brett's very kindly let me swap out one of my fighting styles for Gloria so that um, in combat from now on, if you're within five feet of me, I can use my reaction to reduce damage you take if you get hit. Um, 
but you have to be within five feet of me. So anybody who's like worried about like taking a lot of damage, ribeye, cough, ribeye, cough. Uh, <laughs> try and stay near me where you can. Like obviously if like, and that, but that's my reaction. So like, uh, obviously if I do that, I can't do like other stuff. So like mantle and stuff. So gotcha. um, and I think Gloria would just be like, just uh, I've been practicing this move, move, stay, stay near me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's just, that's it. Um, but I just wanted to the OOC let you guys know that I'd oh, swap that out. I, I don't know why well. I found that funny. Just like, just, yeah, you know, just so I can, you know, just so. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. Know, I'm just, thing. <laughs> <laughs> just hold your shield up. She proceeds yeah. to stand yeah. over all of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. All right. Uh, so what are we gonna do first? Cooking or crafting? We can go with uh, we can go with blacksmithing first. By the time he's done, I'll have a delicious meal ready. Oh my god! All right. So, uh, Kagami, you will need to spend fifty credits, uh, that you do not have, uh, if you'd like to experiment. I'll, um, I'll volunteer as well. Oh, well, look at this. <laughs> just, I like the Kakami cups, and everyone's like, here you go, <laughs> yeah, partner. I, I was <laughs> like, like pulling like metal ingots <laughs> out of our yeah, pockets. Literally, and, like, literally I, like, I was like, all right, time to get to work. I pull out my fucking material chest. It's just <laughs> moth. <laughs> uh, there's, like, there's a wrench in there for some reason, despite the fact you're a blacksmith. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry for keep. I don't mean to keep moving you around. Uh, okay, oh, no, so, I moved her, and then you moved her back. Oh, oh I thought I was moving you. <laughs> I'm I was not allowed like, to move, Cooley. <laughs> oh, see, I, 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 I kept thinking. I kept thinking I was accidentally moving your character. So my oh, bad. Funny. I'm gonna uh, need to start selling these weapons to make some money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So Kagami. Kogami, I need you uh, because everything is always in the beta stage. We are currently in crafting version seven, but I think this is it. This is the crafting system. I'm not doing it anymore. I refuse. <laughs> version seven. Yeah, I just refuse. All right. Uh, so for experimentation, the DC you have to beat is 10. Uh, to succeed, if you fail, uh, your project slot is used up, but your material components are not. Uh, you're free to use whatever skills you'd like. Um, you'll be using your uh, blacksmith's tool, uh, Topaz blacksmith's tools, which allow you use to use your wisdom modifier, I believe, uh, for crafting or dexterity. Your dexterity for, for crafting, excuse me. I think does the Topaz. Uh, the Topaz... Uh, it doesn't say on the item description. It doesn't have no, to. No, mine are gone <laughs> Here we go. It is... Wisdom. Your wisdom is Topaz. My wisdom. Y'all wisdom. Okay. Okay. Let's see it. Partner. Big oh. money. Make sure nothing... Wait, hold on. Don't do it. I'm sure you're proficient. Boop, boop. You are Zero proficient. Zero whammies. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's... The number it's it's pretty hard to fail but we'll find out now that don't i put that, that curse on don't you say that. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, it'd be, I, I mean you'd have to be pretty bad to fail at this yeah, check yeah. <laughs> man, well i'm experimenting on my own weapon man <laughs> how cursed would it be if you failed such an easy yeah, roll two successful weapons for my party weapons and then <laughs> broke my own i mean let's, let's type the you number you nearly came close to breaking mine i think you all, <laughs> it disintegrates you, imagine rolling a four or lower on a crafting check. Jeez. Wait, can I can I grant him inspiration? I uh, play yeah. him a little tune while he does it. You absolutely can. The question is, do you still have inspiration uh, <gasps> from the previous combat, or did you use them all? I think I used it. Never mind. You definitely used. I them. only had one, yeah. But now I have two, so suck on my butt. <laughs> and I, and so silver so barbs only works against like when enemies are attacking, right? I'm um, sorry. Repeat that again. Am I quiet? I feel like my mic's quiet. No, you're uh, a little. You're just a little echoey. So I, I'm just trying. Oh, I to... am. Oh, sorry. No, oh. You're, you're good. My ears are just terrible. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, silvery barbs. Can you like throw barbs at friends and it works, or does it have to be when enemies attack you? Uh, it has to be during enemy combat. Silvery yeah, that's what barbs I is already as broken as possible. I'm not making any wiggle room for that stuff. <laughs> 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 I'm not making wiggle room for silvery barbs. I've never even heard of it, but it's, it seems right. pretty cool. Here we go. There we go. Hey! All right. Now tink, I can. All right. So I get to roll a 1d31. <laughs> That's the best part about. I can just make up dice. All right. Ooh. What would that look like? I don't know. 
I'm sure there's some sort of like CAD tool that's like, give me a thir see, show me a 31 <laughs> sided shape. <laughs> where all the sides, where it can evenly like land on any side without any, uh, what is it? Uh, what, without what, any one side being more likely to land than the other. Um, so, um, what are you applying this to? I'm applying this to my longsword. All right, your longsword becomes an acidic longsword. Ooh. As you see acid begin to, to drip from the blade and just, just kind of like stings the ground underneath. Oh God, uh, it's eating itself. So, uh, acidic. <clears throat> Bup -bup. Control B, acidic. Uh, once per toxic, I'm slipping under. I'm one sorry. No, you're, you're good. I give Cooley too much credit. <laughs> Cooley wasn't good. Uh, what's uh, per. I was trying to eat a biscuit when she said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, once per turn, you can deal an extra 1d6 of acid damage to one creature you hit with this weapon. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to drop this in my weapons. Uh, and yes. Oh, also uh, might be something uh, you'd be interested in learning uh, about um, to further expand the complication of uh, crafting. So, um, tr so every weapon and armor has a trait, a, a number of trait slots. Uh, you start off with, um, essentially, uh, one second, let me look over here. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, the weapons that you start off with, um, only have one trait slots, uh, on them. Um, mm -hmm. but you can, uh, improve upon your weapon, uh, to grant additional trait slots, uh, for a cost. Uh, to add a second mm -hmm. trait slot to your weapon or armor, uh, will cost you a hundred credits. And if you buy weapons in town um, with uh, with that, it is, it is another 100 credits. Or usually a little bit more. There's usually an overcharge to that. Um, so you'll see weapons made of different materials that are more expensive, and that's because they can apply more trait slots. Uh, trait mm. slots, uh, it, depending on the trait that you apply onto the weapon, will take a number of trait slots. Uh, currently, you're experimenting with uncommon traits, which all take one trait slot. Uh, once you start getting into rare, which I believe is at level five, um, those take up two trait slots. Uh, but the experimentation and the cost uh, greatly increases. Uh, rare uh, experimentation is uh, 500 credits. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Yep, yep. But you can apply like m multiple uncommon or you can place one rare. There's, there's, there's a lot of options. Cool. Okay. Just FYI. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, uh, ribeye, you making a tasty meal? Yep, I'm gonna experiment. Okay. It's time to learn a new recipe. Give me Ooh. those. Okay. Let me, let me see. Give me those. Give me, give me that sweet roll. A DC 10 is what you need to beat. Hey! So tasty! So tasty! So oh, good. Do we have the jingle? No, we don't. <laughs> this, this, this week was a bit hard on me, so I unfortunately <laughs> did not. <laughs> unfortunately, I apologize. Uh, give me one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what am I making this time? Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, I'm going to do a roll. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh. Okay. All right. Uh. Ah. Uh, now I need a name. Did anyone uh, else see the disconnected for a second, or is that just me? Just disconnected true, from think. what? I said it, I was. It was disconnecting from the world. Oh yeah. It. It unfortunately do do that. Okay. <laughs> do that. Um, I'm, I'm looking up different food items that I can make puns out of, depending on what the effect is. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh God, I'm trying to figure out a good name. Um, Studious improvement. Trained. Studious 
studious improvement. Um, uh, this recipe is called Fortified Weakness. Uh, this adds uh, a plus four to your lowest ability score until the next evening. Wow. Ooh. That's pretty good. So, for example, ribeye gets plus four intelligence. Uh, uh, that'd be strength for me, actually. Oh, I, I saw he saw his strength. I apologize. Uh, yeah, uh, ribeye gets uh, plus four strength. Kagami gets plus four strength. Uh, 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 Vidalia gets plus four intelligence. Pandora gets what? plus four strength or plus four intelligence. Give me that strength, baby. <laughs> Begin to flex. All you can laugh is strength. And then like Gloria gets gets plus to you, uh, plus four dexterity. Yep. I know I should have chosen intelligence. I just want to make that clear. No. But Pandora wouldn't have done it. That's all yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's all good. Pandora just wants to feel strong all yeah. the time. She's like what? doing push-ups. She's like, <laughs> look at this, yeah. <laughs> look at this, flex, 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 flex. I mean, you don't really need to update Gloria's decks because it's not going to make a huge difference. Yeah, you know, it's all good. <laughs> it doesn't really just, affect that much. I was just, I was, uh, I was just letting you guys know. No. Nah. Am I like good. super strong now, or just like mediocre? I mean, your your strength becomes a t uh, fourteen, so yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty Ooh. strong. Nearly as strong as Gloria. Yeah. You can pick up Gloria. Your your long jump is improved now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hell yeah! She's gonna utilize that absolutely. Just leaping all over the place. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Oh, Delicious. <laughs> Very good. It's a uh, it's a it's a nice uh, bean and lentil soup that I'm going to refer. Uh, it, it, behold, my latest creation, comp and soup. Compensate because it compensates for your lowest uh, <laughs> lowest ability. There, Compens that's so cute. That's great, Ribeye. Yeah, you, you can compensate soup with this. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna name this recipe compensation because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I don't know if anybody knows dancer terms in chat, but uh, Pandora is doing calypsos all around the camp now. <laughs> Just basically a, a leap, but backwards and you twirl while you do it if you're that doing, makes sense wow. you're doing capoeira right now you're just yeah like moving back i drink the i drink the or i eat the soup and then i start like flexing but like there's nothing there <laughs> <laughs> face emotionless look at these there pains <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah check out these pecs nothing check you're just drinking milk your bones are getting stronger vitamin d I start, Should like, I... you know, moving my arms as though I'm, like, oh. flexing them and trying to make them dance, but, like, there's nothing going on there. It's just I'm moving in a very weird way. Check out these muscles. Ooh. Did anyone get tickets to the gun show? Jesse. James! <laughs> and then, uh, and then you flex, and then an actual gun shoots, and you're just like, oh, oh! <laughs> <I'm seeing. laughs> just like, oh, sorry. I got it. jammed again. Apparently, skeletons yeah. excite me. I shot my gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So after a good meal and a and a continuous improvement upon one's weapon, uh, what do you all do? Um, Ants, I think. I don't think there's. We have one oh, yeah, day of definitely food remaining. Pandora is reading her tome in her tent and journaling. Uh, now she journals. <laughs> Um, Tom, you yes. mentioned you have um, one day of food remaining, correct? Yes. Why do you oh, say shit. that? Because that that because that, that, we bought we twenty five we bought twenty yeah we bought five days of food. Well, each every time you experiment with food, um, that does not take away from your rations. Ah. Uh. Oh, we have five days of food left, guys. Yeah, it's, I was trying to make it, you know, real scary, uh, but apparently never mind. We're good. We're good. You're all food to me. <laughs> Pandora looks is up from like her tone. Sexy thing or is that what? Yeah, you're tasty. That's all. 
Oh, and okay. Dora <laughs> is blushing. <laughs> Stop. Well, that's right, Pandora. Okay. <laughs> Dora definitely looks at Kagami like, we know what that could have meant. <laughs> Pandora doesn't. <laughs> Ribeye just kind of goes like, ha, what? <laughs> what? Pandora really writes like in her guys. journal and she's like, today Vidalia said a strange thing. <laughs> Is it strange or hot? Uh, Pandora does not know. <laughs> Unless you want a bone broth, I don't think I'm food for anybody. <laughs> A little bit of both. All right. Uh, so do you guys uh, slumber for the day? Yes. Yeah, I think yes. So. I think, or yeah. for the evening, rather. Well, does take, anybody take, take, want our to watch? I, uh, I'll, I'll, what? I can, I can, I can take a double shift of watch because I only need to sleep for four hours. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you have to sleep. Well, I have to, I have to, in order to get like my rest, I've got to like remain inactive for four hours. Oh. <laughs> you just like I was down. I, 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 I turn into one of those like classroom skeletons. <laughs> just, Do I just have to do that too? Pew, 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 pew. What, you have to have meditate? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, have, you have to spend four hours meditating. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Just I've never slept in my life. <laughs> Looks down. That's a mood. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that was me today in real life. Yeah, anyway. same. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. You all yeah. will then complete your long rest. Woo-hoo. You, bre- Woo-hoo. you break down camp uh, and you return, you return back ready to journey. So my friends, <sighs> what will you do? Star barrier. <laughs> just, 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 uh, just so, just so you know, um, because we did clarify it last session, I will always yeah. assume that you cast Star Barrier, even if you tell me that you don't. Okay, well, my all my class is thirteen this time around. That's why I said it. Uh, you get it boosted. Uh, one second, please. <laughs> Wahoo! Boost. I like the. Yeah. Uh, I like the idea of like a sequence every time. Star Barrier! Pandora yes. does yoga Star and then barrier. turns Super Saiyan, basically. Oh, yeah. Man, could you imagine if that's just how you got ready in the morning? You wake up and you do a Sailor Moon transformation <laughs> sequence. That would be amazing. You don't, you don't have to shower, you don't have to put on like makeup. Like, it's just, it's all there. It's all, all there when you're done. Wanted in my gay dreams was like a goth Sailor Moon. Right? Oh my fucking god! Yeah, that's what she does. <laughs> Fuck yoga. She's goth Sailor Moon. Oh yeah. I, I imagine it as well with like all like the fanfare and like the music as well. So if you have like a partner who's trying to sleep in, and you yeah. just get up Shut and start up. getting ready. Uh, <laughs> just stop. Oh so my god. Bright. Eighty like, time please. I'm hearing the goddamn Sailor Moon theme. Come on! That's actually why Angelica left Pandora. She couldn't get any sleep. <laughs> I actually, kind of feel like a saying now with all my movement options. I have like instant Sailor Moon. All right, you've awakened. You break down camp, and now, yeah, what do you do? As a friendly reminder, uh, you have bought yourself uh, a couple more days time. Uh, before mm-hmm. a, the ritual is complete, uh, creating okay. the tear into the shadow veil. Um, not enough um, time to go to Lindau and, uh, Lindau and back, uh, but you do have some time available now. How often do I get those like encounters where you roll? Uh, it depends on where you're going and where you're traveling. Oh. Well, the castles, we're, we're close to this castle where, where the, 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 the ritual's taking place, but uh, I was going to say, Almond Guild, can you tell us anything about the, the castle? Is uh, Anything we should be aware of? Uh, uh, sort of anything that... Uh, any threats that you know of or anything that we should be we should be cautious of? Of my recollection, this castle is submerged underneath the earth. Because of this, it tends to be... Uh, uh, well, extremely dark for those that cannot uh, see from within. Uh, perhaps mm-hmm. a way to cast some light or create a small fire to see your way? Mm-hmm. The Fey Wonder Magic itself is rampant inside as the ritual continues, meaning that its magics could influence what is within. Okay. Pandora really feels like she should have leveled up her intelligence all of a sudden. On um, on the map here, where can we? What exactly is our travel range within one day? 
Um, I mean, uh, you can go to uh, any of the ruins uh, that were within the area. Um, or you can go to, I mean, you are right outside the abandoned castle, so right. you could literally start your day going into there if that's what you wish. Uh, well, the, the fact that this is named makes me curious about it. <laughs> I like that mentality. Like, looking at the map, this has a name. <laughs> we should go to the named place. Um, uh, out of character, I'm very much about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, yeah, I feel like Evergarden gives me, like, Alice in Wonderland vibes, or, like, Secret Garden vibes, and I think Pandora would shit her pants. Let's do it. <laughs> well, if we wanted to go somewhere else, we, we did use up a lot of our potions and supplies and things in, in that last battle, and, and maybe if we explore these ruins, we might be able to find something that would help us. Uh, that, that could be useful to do. I picture Pandora like jumping up and down because she's so much stronger today and she's like, whatever it is, let's fuck some enemies up, yeah? <laughs> I yep, am... absolutely. <laughs> I am... I wish I could be like that in the morning. I am unfamiliar with the region, so I'm uncertain what you can find around here. What I do know is we should pro whatever we need to do, we should do so quickly. Mm. The longer we wait, the more danger your world is in i mean Someone i'm happy to go straight to, the keep, to get but... extended <laughs> pressure oh you're free to do whatever you want where do we want to go I think there's a the whole map could be a good idea uh or we could explore I'm... i feel like over the over the table Cooley thinks that we should listen to either Sci-Fi or uh, <laughs> like y'all know what you're doing. Y'all, y'all, you know. Oh, but that's that's not what the game is. Like it's, it's about doing what the game is about the adventure. Exactly. Where does Pandora want adventure. to go? Do we uh, do do we have a map of this region? Like and, and yeah. would it look like this? Okay. It, yeah. So we would see abandoned castle, ruins, ruins, and Evergarden within our traveling I mean, range, correct? If we wanted to go really, really deep, there's an ancient temple all the way to the left. I think we, I think we might lose our uh, our opportunity <laughs> to stop whatever the hell is happening here. What is the thing under um, Gloria? It says abandoned what? Castle. That's that's and where the uh, that's where like the center uh, of all this Fey Wonder stuff I, is coming uh, from. Right, I, right, will, right, right. I, I will let you know that if you do fail to stop the ritual. But the game does continue in that direction. Mm. <laughs> wow, that, was, that means there, hard there, mode. There, there, is, there, there is no like, and you failed, game over. It's like, and it's you like, failed. Yeah. And Deal with you your consequences. To, and now the campaign becomes whatever that happened. So We're going to destroy uh, this area. If we can't decide, we can roll. You know what? I'm in favor of the Evergarden. Handshake emoji. Let's go there. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll never go in, but I'm gonna put a um, hard rule because I feel like I have to be the responsible one. We only spend. We we go there. We spend the day. We come straight back, and we have to go back to the keep right away. Well, what we, if it's we, really cool, Gloria? You think we got no, some if, good if, spices? We'll go we back gotten... once once we save. And we stop the the shadow veil from invading Io. We go back and we we check out the Evergarden. That's fine. We can do that afterwards. But but we we definitely should not spend too long at the Evergarden exploring. I know I'm really boring. I know. I'm sorry. You're I'm not sorry. Boring. You don't talk about my friend that way. You are. You are. <laughs> Wait. Am I the friend? You are strong. You are capable. And you're responsible. I love what you're saying with your mouth. But you're the funny. Evergarden sounds really pretty. <laughs> Absolutely. Just running in that direction. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Vegetables there. Yep. Ab absolutely. Let, let's let's go. <laughs> uh, okay. We, we just overwhelm Gloria with energy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Like as soon as as soon as uh, as Pandora runs off, like all of the sort of like Gloria's like attempt at trying to be like uh, sort of take charge goes. Like it just is like okay, she's gone. She's she's not listening. Okay. <laughs> she is like dance running, like literally, yeah. like leaping and bounding. Yay! <laughs> we are attracted to danger. We just ignored the DM warning. 
in and out 20 minute oh, event. Oh, no, no, no. I want to make sure I'm fully clear that when I say that, it's so that you are, you guys are aware what's up. It yeah. is not me yeah, yeah, trying to, to push <laughs> yeah. you guys into a certain yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make sure that we've got all the information to make the decision ourselves. Yep. So we know yep. we're going to exactly die. That. Yep, yeah. that's that's exactly and it. And we just let it happen. <laughs> all Pandora right. was scared of death yesterday, not today. No, we're not. We like <laughs> death enough. now. In an alternate world, we think the coming of the Shadow Veil is is uh, is awesome, so we just fail the quest on purpose. <laughs> Finally, a new encounter. <laughs> the ogre's coming back! Oh, oh god. A blood ogre appears in your path. <laughs> it's the oh same one. Uh, give me one second. Oh, I absorbed him. He lives inside me now. <laughs> you absorbed the remnants of him exploding. <laughs> I think he's still alive. If Kagami meets this ogre, he's going to be like, brother, <laughs> we're <laughs> one in the same. Join they'll me. To, they'll be able well, to communicate. All right. Uh, as you guys continue, you begin to your journey to the uh, to the Ever Garden. You begin to heal here at this shuffling within this forest. You hear. <laughs> as it just echoes. Oh as something appears to be struggling shits her pants <laughs> something appears to be struggling deep within the forest and you are getting ever so closely to it uh pandora stops in her tracks and she it's kind of like a comedic like she skids to a stop and she's like oh, i think i just had a b -b bird a bird Oh, but, but you like birds now i thought you I told like, me you like birds now i like your birds vidalia your birds. Other birds uh, can ski daddle. Am I right? Can we ski daddle? Uh, this was a fun idea. Yeah. And I know, if like, I ran to towards the birds. it. Uh, uh, what if, hear me out, yeah, we just go to the ruins, like Gloria said, instead? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God. You wouldn't have a nah. place called the Evergarden without a few birds hanging around. I'm curious. Let's go. I'm going to, like, drag you in. <laughs> Pandora's, like, like the pulling her hat. Pandora's going to chase her off her. Over her head. <laughs> and getting uh, dragged. You're going off into the direction of the sound? <laughs> yeah, I think, like, just before Gloria runs <laughs> off, smart. I might, like, look at Kagami and be like, maybe you could be a bit quiet. I don't know. <laughs> like, and then I'll just chase off to the other two. <laughs> As you guys approach the sound One of the sword. One of us should stealth. Please, Cypher. I, I can't. Please do not help me. I, I was dumber than ever. Um, I will roll a stealth check as we approach. Okay. With as my you, plus four decks. As you guys... Uh, nice. As you guys uh, approach Kagami, ever the light-footed, uh, you kind of hear the, the growling. <laughs> and once again, you hear the scream. <laughs> And it just echoes off into the uh, into the forest, as the shuffles of chains can be heard. <gasps> oh, mm -hmm. uh, Pandora kind of wriggles away out of Vidalia's hands, and um, she is actually curious because um, she hears the chains. And even though she's scared, she does try to sneak forward to get a glimpse at where the sound's coming from. All right. You guys have uh, apply, uh, uh, you, so you're uh, continuing your approach? Yeah, can I stealth from this absolutely, point on? Absolutely, absolutely. Give me that stealth. Whoa! Pan Pandora goes ahead of the rest of the party, correct? And yes. uh, begins to hide within the woods underneath the canopy of leaves. And there you see it, a strange creature you've never seen before, with the body of a bear and the head of an owl. Oh. Whoa! The, like this, some kind of owl bear. This owl bear uh, appears to have gotten themselves snagged into the trap of a hunter. Oh! As poor it thing. pulls and yanks, you kind of hear the growl rrr, rrr, as the chains kind of begin to rustle within the grass, and once again, it just rrr, it just lets out the screaming call out into the forest. Pandora is terrified but intrigued. Um, and I think she kind of looks behind her at Vidalia and kind of, you know, uh, motions her to come look quietly. 
Vidalia. Yeah, I'll stealth too. All right, give me that stealth. Check. One second. It appears to not have noticed your your presence. <laughs> yes. But, um, until <laughs> as Vidalia is shifting <laughs> through wow. the grasses and leaves, <laughs> you will see uh, the head of the owl bear turn over. Are you in trouble, little guy? Spotting uh, Vidalia and spotting uh, spotting uh, Pandora, it'll kind of like turn over and assume an aggressive position. Oh, he angry. I'm sorry. Uh, Pandora uh, starts to put her hat over her head and she's like, we're, we're not here to hurt you. Uh, do you need help? My friend is good with birds. <laughs> wait, oh wait, wait look, do you want to meet one? Uh, I'm going to take out my little uh, red toad hawk and his name's Onion. I'm going to be like, this is Onion. He's our friend. You can be our friend too. We just want to help you. You're stuck, aren't you? It still resumes its uh, aggressive defensive position. Yeah, he's real mad. <laughs> Does he look hurt? Oh yeah, I mean, you just kind of see this deep uh, wound within the leg of the owl bear. Um, it's fur soaked and drenched in old blood. You could assume this creature has been here for quite some time. Okay, you guys really move really quick. Um, uh, the animal's terrified, we need to help him. He might kill us, but we need to help oh. him. I can't leave him here. I mean, yeah, that's that's an owl bear. They're, they're they're pretty vicious. Uh, I've sort of read about them in the books and things. Um, you definitely need. It, is there, do you have a way of like trying to calm it down? Do you? I mean, well, I'm useless with animals. Like, well, you think I would, but I totally didn't get anything like that for some reason. I uh, I could it's maybe been... heal its wounds, but that would take a spell slot. But maybe it would make it feel better and trust us. I don't know. It might Mark, be confused. You, Mark, did you run a one-off about owl bears? Uh, I literally killed uh, a bunch of players in a one shot yesterday fighting an owlbear. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yep. No. It was, uh, it was a, a little brand deal this we did. Table, and, uh, and I'll say this table's over a month old, so that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, I guess like if, if I was hurt and you healed me, that that would make me trust you. But um, I do have animal handling. I guess. Maybe, hmm. maybe if, maybe if Vidalia, can, Vidalia can, can sort of, maybe if you kind of try and talk to it and, yeah. and, and then, and then, and then um, Pandora, you, you can heal. Um, I'm not going to say anything and I'm just going to try and stand here and not, not make noise. Um, and yeah, I wish Mr. Ribeye like was here. Mr. Ribeye is like, like good at speaking to people and, and stuff. Ribeye finally approaches. Hello. What oh, the hell is that? Here. Can you help us calm this down? Uh, I'm going to try my best, but can you help? Uh, what could I do? I I, uh, I could you create, really an, illu I, I could create a, just... an illusion to distract it if we want to get its leg out of the trap. I mean, yeah, maybe, you, you know, you're pretty funny. You could tell it a joke or something. I don't know. I don't think it's going to get the joke Perhaps we don't out. let it out of the trap until we know it trusts us, yeah? That are sounds you, like a suicide. Are, <laughs> are you sure it would be able to understand what I'm saying? Well, okay, let me it ask will a understand question. your heart. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Like, yeah. Is it yeah. animal? I have animal handling. Like, yes. Is that like, because I didn't take any speak to animal spells for right. some reason. Right. But is animal handling like a thing I can check or something? Is Absolutely. Like a... So you can do an animal handling uh, check in an attempt to calm down okay. the owl bear. I mean, you, you, the, the strategy you have is mechanically sound. Okay, cool. Well, then I'm gonna like slowly. I mean, he sees me, so I'm gonna slowly walk up and like pet oh, my bird. Wait, and be like, my Dahlia. What, what's wrong? I'm just. What if? What if it's trapped for a reason? Because nah. it's very dangerous. People, people <laughs> always capture animals. We, we, well, yeah, right. it's, we're dangerous. We're not in traps. Pandora's squirming around like it's a like a spider, and she's scared of spiders. Like her whole body's squirming, and she's like, "Maybe, just maybe, we just loot the place and leave." Oh, you're not leaders. you're not at the Evergarden yet, and you are yeah, still traveling right. on your way. Shit! You you wouldn't <laughs> want to leave this poor animal. He could be a friend, just like the oh, other you, one. Oh, you could absolutely walk around and continue on your adventure. You're free to do so. Oh my. god. God. I don't think uh, I, I think I would like, I would still do Pandora's it. like, who said that? We should listen to that voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, what voice? Uh, 
perhaps, and I know you love birds, I know you do, but maybe not all of them are good. And maybe... Well, I know that. But well, I can tell this one's just I, frightened. Yeah, it's, I, yeah. It, it, it. <sighs> well, um, Miss Fidelia, I'll, I'll walk behind you, and then if it, if I think it's going to sort of try and get you, I'll, I'll try and pull you back or something, but you, I'll, I'll come yeah, up I, with you. Yeah, you always got my back. Let's go. Yeah, oh I'll, my just God. Move, I'll stay within five feet of uh, Fidelia. Okay. Kendra well, has to follow because she's not going to leave her alone. Okay, well, here we go. I'll do my animal handling. I'm just... It's okay, little guy. I'm gonna like hold out like for some reason I have a dead mouse. I don't know why, but I'm gonna hold out like a dead mouse. <laughs> oh, that was what I was cooking back in the city. Oh, that's what was in that. <laughs> nice experimentating. <laughs> All right, well I'm gonna use it. Oh Cock well. It. Oh boy. He so didn't I, like that. <laughs> so as you approach, kind of like holding this piece of uh, of what is quite literally <laughs> rotted uh, flesh. Flesh. Uh, <laughs> of a of a cooked r mouse uh, that has gone bad for days and days that has been packed within <laughs> your inventory as you Oops. approach with the foul stench uh the owl bear uh lunges towards you uh because of the critical miss and your opening to a weakness not only will it claw at you um, but it will strike you with its beak uh, so oh. the first attack will be a 21 to break your armor class which it does <laughs> You'll take eight points of damage. I will try and intercept as much yeah. of that as I can. All right, then. Let's uh, see. Uh, Did that roll? That 10 pegs piece, though. I think it was six, right? Yeah, I think that worked. All right, so you're going to go I ahead. will block 11 of it. Yeah, and have an attack. You can use your reaction to reduce the damage to the target by 1d10. All right, so you go awesome. in. Yeah. My prof nod. Yeah, you got 11. Uh, so... Yeah. You uh, yeah, hold the shield, like, deflect the claws out, but as you kind of like go in to protect, like mm -hmm. to protect it, the weight of the owl bear continues to press down uh, upon the shield. Um, as this hulking owl bear will go over you and dive down with its beak uh, across uh, upon Vidalia for a critical hit, oh. twenty-one oh. points of da uh, damage. As the you will yep. see the owl bear's beak just. I'll just like impale <laughs> my Dahlia. Of course it is. And you uh, and, it, and you'll yeah. At that point, uh, Gloria, you're able to push it back, um, and it just resumes yeah. its defensive I'll just, position. Like, I'll just pull Vidalia back as soon as I can. Like as soon as like the the attack is finished, I'll just like throw her back basically if I can. Oh uh, yeah, and the owl bear will resume its defensive position. Well, right. he, he, he. I think that was reason enough to get the fuck out of here. My daily, are you okay? No, but um, yeah, yeah it's it's tough. I, I don't think it. I don't think it. It means. I, I, it I goes think it's against my nature because I know he's been he's been tormented over here. I just I don't want you to get more hurt. We have very important things to do. Well, I was very dumb. I will be honest. No, never dumb. Never dumb. Compassionate. I have an idea. Kagami appears from the shadows. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, How kid. Gods! What the gods! Where, where, where you come from? I was hiding in those bushes over there like you told oh me to. Oh, my God. That, that was smarter than what I, I did. I did that. <laughs> What if okay, we well, what's your idea? the owl bear's vision so that we could get in there and, you know. I mean, even if we, if we could just free it, then it will it will probably go away. It will probably go back to its... Yeah, its but we need to get close to there. To will it? Yeah. Will it kill it. us? No, I don't. I think I think as long as we're not a threat, I think it, it should I think it should leave, right. I think. It I'm doesn't... <laughs> I, would it, like, I, 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 I should come with you, Kagami. Oh... <gasps> Yes. <laughs> to create a 20 foot <laughs> radius fog cloud. Hey, noise. As you, <laughs> <from the>, uh, <laughs> as you oh. squeak, as you, uh, <laughs> as you, uh, as you, uh, as you squeeze the plush, uh, you will just kind of see this fog. And you'll just see the form of the owl bear confused, looking around, just. <laughs> 
All right. Now I'd like to sneak in there and uh, free the owl bear from what's restraining it. If you're sneaking, I can't come with you because I'm gonna. I, I'm Does anyone have any stealth. meat they can throw that's not a dead mouse? Uh, I could maybe stealth with him. So I can take some from our rations. So you are free as the owl bear is distracted as you attempt to go in to remove the trap. Uh, can I help? You, you may use a pair of thieves' tools, or uh, you can make a survival uh, check. Hmm. If you do wish to help, you, you wisdom can. at least. Yeah, it's wisdom. So how, I gotta how do I help uh, again? Just give advantage. You could, you could do you could do the help action. Mm -hmm. Help action would give me advantage. Was that utility? Oh, it's no, nothing. No, you, you just you just say that you're doing your helping. Yeah, you okay, yeah, I'm gonna advantage. use the help action. <laughs> All right, so I should roll survival with advantage then. Mm -hmm. Shift click, please. Twenty-two. Nice. All right. Uh, as you go in, uh, you see the trap. The owl bear looks around at a panic as the fog begins to spread. Uh, and then a calm falls over it as you manage to weaken the trap, resetting it and opening it up. As the owl bear will then trot off uh, outside the radius of the fog. As the uh, fog, bear. as the fog begins to part, you'll see the owl bear stare at. Uh, at, at at you all and at, at each each of you with a calm over its face i wave bye bye before, before it glows into a faint blue energy and dissolves oh. away into the sky hey there. with the blue embers that part there a creature of the fey wonder oh my god so we killed it no 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 no, no we helped no. it yeah, I'm. F F I wonder what Faye wonder. Is that was the Kagami from the yoga? As <laughs> no, that was different. <laughs> as the energy dissipates um, and fades away, a majority of it, uh, you will see some linger. As the energy will begin to go, wait, maybe uh, it is the same as and the go, others. It will uh, gather and and uh, attract and it's sort of like a attract itself to each and every one of you. As the energy oh. attempts to uh, go within you, oh, much like what had happened to Gagami. There's already an ogre in there, so you're gonna have to make some space. <laughs> I mean, he, he cut me up pretty bad. I think it'd come inside of me pretty well. I didn't mean to say it like that. Air matron, freezing. All right. Uh, Pandora looks at the group and she says. I'm so sorry. I doubted any of you. And then it's okay. um, You're scared of birds. It's okay. I'm gonna put my hands on Vidalia, and I'm going to use healing word. Mm. Uh, where is that? I wish I could do this faster. Your hands God. feel a lot better than claws. That's uh, real nice. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I liked it. All right, and each of you uh, will acquire uh, 10 units of Fey Wonder energy. Ooh. A currency. I don't know what that means. Wait, does that mean I have 20? Yes, we save do. up enough, we get alternate skins of our characters. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So, <laughs> as the, the job. <laughs> as the I want to look like Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Sorry, that was a really dumb Can joke, I... bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> I that's just want like my... Uh... Uh, hey. But if you if you do give me ten dollars, I'll let you change your uh, character token. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, um, so um, as the energy sort of gathers within you, it's the same familiar sensation as Kagami felt. Uh, you'll see Almond Gill, uh, who stood there and observed the entire time, maintaining silence and not really contributing uh, to what needs to be done. Uh, Almond Gill will give a faint nod and say. You show compassion. Of course. This is not a common thing to the lives of mortality. And because of this, I will teach you something. Gather round. And just kind of like his, his arms creak open and almost as, if, as he opens his arms wide to invite you to gather. Oh, he wants a hug. Pandora feels ashamed, but she still does it. The energy, Absolutely. the energy that houses within you, 
is the very life and energy of the Fey Wonder. You can use this in a, in a matter of ways. The energies of the Fey Wonder are able to protect you from harm. Well, from, from physical and, and magical harm. However, using the energies of the Fey Wonder, you can manifest and transform it into a variety of magical items and, and artifacts. Of course, I am but a sapling. Uh, my ability to transform this energy into something more substantial is uh, not possible with my skills. But I believe if we ever come across my parent or any of the seers of Feywander, uh, they would be able to transform that energy into something useful for you. Other Sylvonans? Is that, is that, I think you said that you were a Sylvonan? Sylvanan? Sylvanson? Sylvona, yeah, that's correct, that's correct. In, correct. For now, though, keep that energy within you. If you feel that you're in mortal danger, feel free to use it to protect yourself. But for now, it would be best if you kept that, as it is a gift of Fey Wonder. Nice! Above board, uh, this is the currency of Fey Wonder. Ah. You can uh, buy and transform things using this energy. However, you can also decide to use it as if it were a pool of temporary hit points. Cool. But once you use it, it's you use it. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to explode. That okay. Is there a face or it's just like the Skagzag points? And it was all thanks to the Skagzag plush. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. I gotta <laughs> say, that's pretty good. That was a very clever idea. Let's get a sound clip of Crendor doing that just so we can have that on our soundboard. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, Miss Miss Vidalia, are you okay to keep going? You got hurt yeah, pretty bad. I, I only I really know my birds. I, I don't get out very much, so I'm not that great with animals, to be honest. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop it. For, I tried to stop that first one, and then that second one was just so much worse. No, it, was, it wasn't your fault. You helped so much. Okay. Uh, Without you, Gloria, this could have been much could, worse. It could, you, I could give you a bottle, uh, a sip of the brine. Or I could heal you with spells. What would you Brian's like? Brine's probably good because spells spells we might need for other things. So so Brian is maybe a good idea. Yeah, Here, I'll have some Brian. I, I hand her the bottle to take a sip. I'll just chug it. You can feel your <laughs> electrolytes replenish. <laughs> uh, feel free to use it from your inventory. The bottle oh. of blessed brine is uh, an equipment that you have. Uh, it says it's been. It's run out of its designated uses, which I haven't used it today. Not anymore. Oh, yes. wow. Look at that. Wow. It's Fey magic. God damn it. <laughs> I quit. I can't heal for shit, dude. I am. Hey, for shit, dude. I am shit, pogging. Dude. I am pogging. Don't worry, I feel so much better. I've healed you Shut for up. eight and like five no, seconds. No, no. You know, it's I think fine. it's fine. I think Fine. it's because Pandora does just feel so ashamed that she was too scared to help that animal. And she's just... It's fine. It's fine. I, uh, Miss, Miss Vidalia she, is at the back anyway. She shoots. She yeah. shoots. So she'll, she'll be okay. She'll be fine. Right? Right, Miss Vidalia? You'll be okay. I mean, if I die, I die. It's fine. We're food, remember? No. Oh, no, it's no, everything. no. I can't handle yes. it. I will give you a second sip. You want a second sip? No, I'm Almond, fine. Almond Gill nods. Yes, that is correct. I mean, it's, it is technically correct, but it, it's it's not maybe the best thing to hear right now. Why are fine. you offended by the concept of death? No, no, not, no, I'm, I'm not, but, but Pandora is very upset and, I, and she, it, it, it's not the... It's fine, it, everything's fine. Perhaps we should just keep moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, let's do that. Let's find something nice that can heal us up uh, in the Evergarden. Yeah, Listen, maybe. Gil, Gil no, we're, all, we're, we're all kind of there. attached to this, like, meat reality and we kind of want to see where it goes, all right? Yeah, my meat reality must remain intact today. 
I'm mostly intact. I, <laughs> I see. This feels very limiting, as it makes you fearful of the ex- possible ex- uh, possible happening of death. It can, but that fear can sometimes, you know, help you as well. It's not always a bad thing. I mean, sometimes it is, but sometimes it isn't. Um, and it's also, it gives you, sometimes it gives you that, that push to, to, you know, survive and to, and to, to, to keep fighting, um, when you need to, uh, that, that will to live, you know? It can be debilitating, but it could also be a great motivator. Yeah. Fasc- fascinating. A interesting perspective. I may not understand it quite, but it is yours well, to have. You're very different to us, I, I think, as well. Like, I imagine that in the Fey Wonder, things things can feel and, and 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 things are just different, right? So, so maybe that's part of it. Well, to us, uh, death is merely an ending chapter before mm. a new book is written. Yeah, that, we talked about books. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And that, you- that, that is why I, I suppose I do not fear death as, as you do. Uh, Pandora hands, uh, hands Gil, uh, Gil the, uh, pan flute again. Can you just, thank you. That actually helped a lot. Thank you. Oh, no, my wish to aid. Shall I do it again? Yes, please. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dalia, do you want me to carry you while we on the rest of the journey? Are you okay? Can you walk? Oh, sure. You can carry me. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna just climb, just like no yep. Okay. Pa- just Pandora do- looks at Gail and she does the one clap like Gail did before. <laughs> oh, very honored. Thank you. And Thank Gail will you. hand the uh, pan flute back. Thank you, Gloria. I'm gonna kiss Gloria That's on the okay. cheek. No, don't do do do. And let's. <laughs> that, that's the last thing you hear out of Gloria for the rest of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Is my face okay? Where did it attack me? What a beautiful greeting. <laughs> my face okay? Where did it attack me? <laughs> <laughs> my beautiful face. <laughs> uh, do you carry on to the Evergarden? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, as evening begins to foul, you arrive within the Evergarden. Hey, what? Is that me playing the pan flute? <laughs> that's me losing, uh, uh, Cooley, that's me losing my mind. I don't know what to tell you. It's just... This man needs a break from running Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I it's me losing. healing word on Brett's brain. I'm invincible. <laughs> I can't be healed. I'm invincible. I'm invincible. Um, I want a campaign where we all just burst you. I not a refresh PC. Refresh my IA. You. Mm, no. Yeah, all right. I thought it had done that. It's logged me out. Hang on. I'll be back in a eight, minute. Eight whole heals. I just want to scream. Okay. I just want to yell. <laughs> Darkness, it buried me. <laughs> all that I see. <clears throat> oh, Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> so nice. Young boy. Young boy. All right. I'm having a bit of issues reconnecting, but. No Uh-oh. worries. Do it, would anyone like to use the restroom while we wait? Yes. I <laughs> yes I would. <laughs> wow. No need, no need to exclaim it. So, but okay. I need to go piss, girl. Uh, <laughs> you go piss, girl. Whoa. I didn't know I could be on top of you, boys. <laughs> I'll be right back. <clears throat> Attention, everyone. I am peeing. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. We're all very proud of you. I loved how I said this was the beginning of session three and we haven't started session three. We're still in session two <laughs> proper. <laughs> Between session two and it's really we'll amazing. We'll get there eventually. Listen, oh, we, oh, I'm, I'm not listen, complaining. We called this from the beginning that if we just do enough camp RP, we'll get a season two. <laughs> <laughs> 
can't get a season two if you're not even going to complete season one <laughs> I mean, yeah it'll just go on forever i tried forever. i tried brett i was like oh maybe we should really go oh first. oh no no uh, you you do you. Yeah. It's like is... you don't understand the clock is ticking the shadow veil is coming it's like yeah. oh, Oh, say we had a few days we had a few days right that's the problem you made the dm mistake of implying that there was there was opportunity no for anything else no, no, it's zero, not a it's zero not a mistake. mistake yeah 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 it's just this is this is the information i wanted to give you uh not enough in not enough time to go back to lindau uh but yes enough time Maybe to sort a little of bit of time. Around the, uh, in the area that's correct that's correct you've heard of forever dm now introducing the forever campaign that's io <laughs> that's like the world that is the entire world of io yeah when you get to that I point where you're just pissed girl nice thanks good <laughs> nice. thanks good thumbs up you tell me that i don't need to do something i will do it yeah. i hope that you know that now that's fine what is that i it makes what? great comedy yeah uh and then once kelly's back i was saying okay. Pandora Tom, does a jig Kuti does went. a jig Anyone else stepping away? No. No? Okay. I have my standing. Shumes I am bladder, they call me. <laughs> Damn. Well, there he goes. I pee every six months. What Holy is pee. that like? <laughs> that sounds awful. Not good for you. <laughs> yeah, that, sounds, that doesn't sound good at all. Kidney yeah. problems. That's what that's like. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. my viewers were sick of my shit playing the quarry yesterday because, like, I had to pee, like, twice every chapter. <laughs> I just, yeah. like, always have to pee. Hey, it just means hey. you're well hydrated, unlike yeah. me. Hey. Unlike me as well. Adderall also causes that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That makes so much sense. Yeah. See, that's interesting. I think, like, my, the, the meds I'm on, it's uh, the opposite. Like, it's really? just like nothing, nothing else happens. It's just nothing. Never wants to pee. Uh, Tom, are you back? Yes. Okay. Hey. Excellent. You all arrive outside uh, the location known as the Effort Garden. As you pass through the canopy of trees, you arrive in this open area uh, filled with just, just, Many standing old and ancient uh, pillars and walls and shrines that have been scattered everywhere. Uh, some of them kind of like the part of like ziggurats as they kind of ascend up and down and sloping stairs. Um, pr this probably at one point in time uh, used to be, as you look around, uh, a beautiful, almost like a hanging garden sort of thing. Um, long since destroyed in the passing days. This being the land of uh, orcs, um, the Evergarden, from your understanding, Gloria, uh, was mm. the one section of ruins uh, that may have been here before the Orcish empires took over these lands. And oh, may have, by the gods! And may have been uh, elven in nature, and probably, um, uh. probably the beginning of, uh, probably more towards the beginning uh, of uh, Io's timeline. Oh my oh, the, okay i'm kind of glad that we did come here um i think this is very old this, this is this is older than a lot of the other ruins we passed uh this is this is from near the beginning of io this this is maybe elven uh, i've never been anywhere like this this is incredible this actually reminds me a little bit of where i grew up very beautiful and very green but is it safe? Um, ruins? Well, places like this, I mean, it's very... It, from what I've known in my time in the in the guild, um, the problem with ruins is things come and live in ruins, and people come to ruins to find things and, and do stuff, so it, it's very rare that they're safe. So perhaps um, we stealth. At least be cautious. I'm not. I'm not very good at keeping quiet. But if you can be, I, I would recommend it. Which one of you would say is the most inquisitive about the Evergarden? Uh, uh, I am now. I am. I'm mainly there because it, because it's called a garden. I'm looking for spices and vegetables. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, go ahead and uh, roll a one d twenty, Mark, and roll a one d twenty, Tom. 
Excellent. Ooh. Then, Tom, oh. you will be the one that gives me an investigation check. Oh. Doke. What a time to crit. <laughs> yeah. There's spices. <laughs> For, uh, initiative over a uh, over a, a check. Investigation, you said? Yes, please. All right. As you begin to oh. gather. Uh, go, go on. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, ribeye, as you begin to sort of explore the area, um, looking specifically for... Actually, no, you two would be investigating different things, so we're going to ignore the, 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 the previous two roles. Uh, Gloria, also give me an investigation check, but you are investigating something entirely different. I uh, like whiskey. Yes. Uh, nice. No. So, well, that's history. Actually, history works. We're going to go with history. Wait, sorry. Yeah. No, I can fine. I can, no, it's keeping the same it. bonus, actually, I think. I uh, am no, keeping it. I okay. am keeping it because your investigation would have had a historical value. Um, uh, for Ribeye's investigation, as you look around these ruins, uh, a gentle quiet sort of falls over the Ever Garden. Uh, one of the things that you take note is as you have been kind of like pushing through the forest and the scattered ruins that have been within the deep bloom, you notice in the Evergarde in particular, um, there seems to be these sort of white petally bulbs of flowers that have yet to bloom that is all scattered around the, and these are giant bulbs, almost this, all, I would almost say like the, almost the size of your head, giant bulbs. Um, and as you look around, you see while a majority of them have not bloomed, a small handful of them have. And within the bloom, you'll sort of see this, this red and orange and, and yellow pollen kind of scatter within its petals. Is that of something interesting? Perhaps it could be used for cooking. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but you may have something more alchemical in nature. Hmm. I lean down, take a good hard look at the at one of the ones that's bloomed. Hmm. This is also an opportunity for someone in the party who who is interested in alchemy, um, to uh, take on uh, alchemical responsibilities of the party if they so desire. I Sounds don't like know how good this would taste, but I was gonna it say has that's other very yeah, Pandora. Would <laughs> that's <laughs> very much down my alley. Um, mm. Pandora has been spending this whole time while everyone's been searching, just looking at the greenery. She's like on her knees, like touching all of the flowers and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I think I would like to investigate them as well. Okay, just uh, before, please. Uh, uh, just quickly to clarify, is it mage right that it's like the kind of making like staves and wands and stuff like that? Brett, yeah, so um, because IO is always evolving and I hate everything uh -huh. that I do. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> joke, I joke, that. joke, joking, joking, joking. Uh, instead of it being actual uh, like uh, professions, uh, mm -hmm. everything is tied to a tool now. So a tool okay. will do a certain thing. Uh, alchemical tools will actually make potions. Um, but if you decide to go into uh, uh, carpentry, for example, uh, you can build uh, bows and crossbows and weapons and shields that are made of, of wood uh, and weapons and shields that are made of wood will have a uh, less cost and less weight, um, but are susceptible to be lit on fire. So it's like, mm -hmm. hey, this is pretty light, but also anything a fireball cast on you, your weapon's on fire. Um, but also carpenters can build staffs and wands uh, if you want to get into that. Um, as for a variety of magic items and mages tools, it, I mean, it really depends on... Um, what tool what you would do yeah so for example uh, okay. a bag of holding would be under uh, leatherworking tools if you wanted to get okay. into magic rings and amulets you were going to want jewelry. jewelry's tools yep yep mm. if you want to make robes and cloaks weaver's tools is going to be for that uh tinker's tools allows you to create a variety of engineered goods including actual full-blown fucking vehicles 
Um, Potter's <laughs> tools uh, are, and, and some of the and obvious, and I, I have to say some tools are better than others, just flat out. Mm. Um, because like, for example, the Potter's tools uh, allows you to create a variety of pots that you can sell for credits, uh, but also allows you to create the alchemical jug if you really fucking wanted that for some reason. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, it really is just uh, cool. a, a lot. Or if you want to get into making like magical shoes, you would take cobbler's, cobbler's tools. So, so it's based on the tools like the actual toolkits yep. in like the 5e e rules exactly. okay cool that's nice if i you, like that exactly if you've uh, already taken it is it a feat a craft if you're already taking a feat do you even get to get a craft oh it's not a feat nope 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 it's just oh. uh so pretty much the idea here is everyone here uh in the everyone in the party uh because you guys didn't choose a background uh gets to choose one tool oh. uh that you will become proficient in um as a free proficiency that's oh. me am i the only one that wears leather um, uh, there'll be like little bits and pieces like yeah. uh i think like uh like there's probably going to be a crossover right of like leather yeah. boots or something or like braces might exactly. come under um, yeah, ribeye, yep. ribeye holds up his gloved hands and wiggles his fingers kagami's got smith's uh, uh smith's tools or blacksmith's tools mm -hmm. so anything with metal uh mm. typically kagami can make but kagami can't make leather armor studded leather etc uh, etc cetera, et cetera. Yep. you'll actually oh. need a leather worker for that for alchemy and creating potions, what would I need? Alchemy tools. Okay. Um, but okay. if you are stating interest here, uh, then we will begin your journey into the world oh, of alchemy, which <laughs> which is essentially just you know for storytelling. Now we're we're gonna full role metal play it alchemist. Out. Full, yeah. metal, full metal alchemist. Full metal Pandora. Full metal alchemist. <laughs> so, Pandora, you'll see. Uh, ribeye kind of sort of looking upon the open blossom realizing yeah this isn't gonna it's very almost lemony in, in smell um which could I'm be good dessert yeah but it you it would ha have to do a lot of sort of tending and pan uh pandora what what kind of history does your character have with alchemy or was it just something that you were interested uh someone mentioned think... brewer's tools i'm i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt uh oh, you're brewer, fine. brewer's tools for alcohol yep there are certain alcohols I, that you can make um, that uh, effectively function as sort of like a brawler's uh, alchemist. <laughs> so you just you just make a bunch of booze. Yes, that is something you could do. Anyways, continue. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, that's funny. But also, I, I need to stop being funny and I need to actually help my party. Okay. Um, no, I think that Pandora has read a lot of books on it, and she has always kind of liked collecting things that um, have, like, magic essence and things that could be created for things, but she has not practiced it yet. Okay. Um, but she has definitely, like, that was in her character description, as she carries around little vials all over her corset filled with, you know, things that she's collected um so she has the vials ready but okay. she's not super knowledgeable yet gotcha so it's more of an a an equi a passive a passing sort of uh curiosity yeah i mean she always knew that she wanted to help people and um she got distracted a little bit with her vampire hunting mm -hmm. but the books that she has read on her travels have mostly been about alchemy and spells. Okay. Uh, if you would be okay, I would like to go back a few days. Ooh, okay. And say if that yeah. sounds good. Yeah. All right. Flashback. <laughs> so. Rewind. Rewind. Within the city of Lindo. So as you guys have been preparing... Uh, we return back to the scene of the uh, the necromancer and her two children um, after Ribeye has made a just an absolutely lovely uh, meal. I think I would imagine Pandora at some point in time, maybe not sour, but definitely moping a little bit yeah. within the corner. Um, as everyone continues to eat and the children kind of like are cheering in celebration. And, I mean, it's a moment of happiness before this adventure. I want to say that um, Pandora probably has still been thinking about ribeye and like, I would almost say like the, uh, the it, you know, not to, not to make light, but the mortality of ribeye essentially. Yeah. 
Um, I think it's it's just bugged her because she she can help everyone except for one person who has very quickly become someone she cares about. Mm -hmm. And she knows that this woman can only make so many potions Mm -hmm. and she she just wants to be able to do it, too. Like she just doesn't understand why she can't because she reads so much and she's learned so much and she's supposed to be all talented. So why can't she help her friend? So um, the mother would, at some point in time, after one's eaten and celebrating, kind of turn over and see you moping a little bit, and kind of walks over and sits down uh, next to you in an old wooden chair. And just kind of gives a, a. She looks exhausted. I mean, hair everywhere, but gives you a smile and goes, "Honey, what's wrong? You seem like you have a lot on your plate right now." Well, you know. We've basically been asked to save uh, the realm or whatever, and I can't even heal my new friend. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that you've been willing to help us and feed us and uh, house us for uh, the moment. But I just wish that I could learn what you know Mm. or at least utilize it in some sort of craft so i can keep my friends healthy all of them she uh looks off to the uh, the living room filled with people at this point uh i think one of the children have jumped on glory at this point and has begun pulling at her ears (laughs) 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 and uh and everyone's just kind of like laughing at it having, having fun and um the mother smiles a little bit and says uh it's not fair is it these bodies we have we want to enjoy the moments of that life has given us we want to transcend beyond our health have more control of it are these things that you're thinking yeah you know i guess i'm just having a little bit of ego death you know Mm. i just thought that this was going to be easier for me and I, I, I don't want to take the easy way out. Yeah, I mm-hmm. want to be better. I want to be the best for my friends. Mm. And you're willing to do whatever it takes. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah. <laughs> Why not? You know. <laughs> right this way. Now she gets up, and she beckons you. And uh, Pandora follows. You guys will leave outside the house um, as everyone continues to enjoy the the lunch and the meal that Ribeye made. You go over to the side of the house uh, where you'll see the uh, the basement once again opens up. She'll open it up again, and she will. Uh, yeah, she'll walk down. Uh, mo- you know, believing that you'll follow. And, and uh, I'll follow. I, I, before I follow, I kind of look at her and I'm like, as a joke, like, you're not going to kill me, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't she, tell my friends I'm following you. She looks, she looks at you with a smile and doesn't answer and then continues to go down to the basement. Pandora kind of bites her lips and like frowns and she's like, yeah, all right, we got to do this. <laughs> and she just kind of follows anyway. <laughs> She'll go over and again returning to the to the, the uh, messy laboratory and the you know the various uh, preserved bodies that have been stored around. Uh, she'll walk over to an old cabinet and open it up, and you'll sort of see these just the assortment of these old varieties of, of beakers and mortar pestles and everything like that. Um, she'll uh, sort of like gather. Uh, what appears to be uh, sort of like this this holding pedestal and you'll see her begin to combine uh, a variety of of different uh, tools and uh, she'll say as she does so you'll kind of see the dust begin to kind of like puff out and puff around Uh, she'll turn over and she will hand you a, a pretty run down alchemist kit and she'll look over to you um, as she places it over on the table, stating, Alchemy is a mortal's way 
of transcending beyond all limits. Without the aid of magics from different variety and of, of veils, it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily need to tap into the veils as magic does. Uh, you take the, the various ingredients that Io, or wherever your travels take you, provide to allow you to transcend beyond your mortal limits. Alchemy is a very, very important art that allows you to protect and to serve uh, at the, at, to protect and serve your, your friends and the people that you care about. But you must be careful because this power cannot be taken lightly as there is many, many things that you can do with alchemy. And the only thing that it, you will be limited by is your morality. Yeah, with great power comes great responsibility, yeah. <laughs> her, fa her face it, uh, remains a serious tone, and she says... Sorry. Yes. yes. Very much. With this, yeah. you can conquer death if you needed to. You mean like, if someone were to uh, go down on the field, could I bring them back up? It depends on how far gone, but I suppose the answer is the same. Yes. But they may I, be forever transformed. Thank you for this. Um, this yep. is uh, something I haven't... Uh, no one's ever, you know, really believed in me when it came to the stuff I actually wanted to do. So you'll you'll see you. she's she's scribbling a couple of things down while you talk. And she says, "While others' belief in you is a positive yet fleeting feeling, the most important person that needs to believe in you is yourself." And she will hand <laughs> you re she will hand you recipes uh, for common potions, and she will hand you the alchemist kit. The Thank question you. remains: uh, What do you? What ability score do you want your alchemist kit to tie to? Oh. So if I experiment mm -hmm. and it goes wrong, I, I, what exactly happens to, nothing happens to my ability score, right? No, 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 no. So okay. um, just like with all crafting, uh, if you experiment and you fail the check, uh, you just waste the project for the day. If you critically fail, um, you will waste some of the material components, uh, components of that um, experiment. However, if you critically succeed, uh, you'll actually do so at a lower price. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess charisma. I'm a bard, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, let me see real quick. So you're doing charisma. Then you will have an amethyst uh, alchemy kit. So give me one second. Tools. Do, 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 do. I need my tools. Amethyst alchemist, uh, mm. alchemist kit. I uh, need my tools. This will be my on tool. charisma, and you will have gained a proficiency. Is this being there? Okay. And then I just need to see. Do do do. One second. I need to change. Aha! Uh -huh, yes. Beautiful. Pandora definitely wants to like kind of 
ask her a little bit about the necromancy potion as well. Mm. Um, and she'll be like, oh, that, that would be in, that will take some time to create your own potions of necrotic energy. You'll have to find a material, tap into something a little more unsavory. And while you want to protect your friend, I would request, I would recommend not rushing, as you may cause more harm than good. But yes, it is possible, with a little hard work and sacrifice. Andorra, like, twiddles her necklace and her crystals on her necklace, and she kind of gets out her journal, and she starts to write down all the things that she has just learned. Now, it'll take some time. She'll hand you um, an old book, uh, uh, just a very, just a, just a simple uh, uh, al alchemical codex. Uh, she'll hand it over to you uh, before stating, uh, take the next week or the next few days to read up on this. And when you are feeling ready, uh, try to make something. The land, uh, the land here uh, is, sh she'll uh, say, the land of Estrana is rich with various alchemical ingredients. Thank you. I will take this little side mission very seriously. Thank as, you. As you should. Come, let's go back upstairs. Yeah, no, I'm hungry, actually, so. <laughs> All right. Please, it's not funny anymore. They're really hurting my ears. Please take them away. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Pandora, no, minor no, no. illusions, uh, uh, bunny ears on everyone in the party. Oh, the <laughs> kids lose their mind. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> just crawls into a corner. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, Pandora, you remember and recall, um, I think it's safe to say whenever you've had some moments, you've been reading the Alchemical Codex, correct? Yes. And yeah, you just kind of look up on this open, blo um, this open blossom. And, uh, and yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think, I think Pandora's like sprawled across the ground. Like, just looking at everything and, like, picking stuff and putting them in her vials. And she's got her book out, and she's just, like, trying to do anything she can. Uh, yeah, and this is the first time the party sees that you just kind of see um, Pandora is now sitting within the Ever Garden, And then just, uh, just yeah, just will uh, gra grab hold of one of the, uh, one of the, I guess, one of the flower buds, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, allow me to check something real quick. So you'll be making a potion, is that correct? Yes. All right. Well, a healing potion, I believe, is 50 credits. So the price will be different. One moment, please. Uh, that, that, that's right, Mark, right? 50 credit? It's usually 50 gold for healing potions? Uh, 50 gold for healing potions, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, awesome. So Standard PHB price for a regular healing potion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it will cost you 50 credits to make, um, to make a potion of healing, but through alchemy, that, those 50 credits of materials, um, are spent, uh, will create two potions of healing. Um, also... Huh? What? No, no, don't worry. Sorry. Oh, Just I didn't know what she said. Myself. Yeah, okay. Um, also... Would you like to use this... Uh, these flowers that you're finding? The, the, these, the, the, the full blossom flowers as part of the, uh... As part of the ingredients for alchemy. It may do something additional, uh, to the yeah. potions. The, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, Pandora, it is your first uh, crafting project. You pull out the dusty old amethyst alchemical tools. 
Uh, I'm going to do one final check to make sure that I have it set correctly. I have it equipped. Look at your details. You are proficient, and you will use your charisma. All right. Uh, when you select your token, go over to your inventory, and you should see Alche uh, Amethyst Al Alchemist supplies. The DC you have to beat is 10. Oh, my God. You did great. So, <laughs> so um, it will cost you 50 credits. So you will now go down to 355 credits. Okay. Good lord. 355. There we go. <laughs> um, and as you continue to brew, uh, you'll begin to mix some of the 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 the, the Evergarden flour. Uh, you mix it in uh, with the potions. And uh, instead of making two potions of healing, you create four potions of healing. Wowie! Let's go! Ooh. Look what I got Hell here, yeah. guys! Hmm? I've, I've made it's like potions. It's a big onion! What do they do? <laughs> well, they, they'll heal you. And we huh. got four of them now. Four more! Just so, start jamming right. it down Vidalia's throat. <laughs> <laughs> Heal, damn it! So, I, think, well, uh, I think I would give uh, one to each of the party members who can use them. So Gloria, Kagame, and Vidalia, and then I'll keep the other. Okay, yeah. give me one second, Makes please. Sense. Give me one second, please. Tables. Give me one second, please. Give me one second, please. One second, please. Uh, oh, one second, can I take your order? Potion. <laughs> you got it. It's straight away. Uh, one by Dalia. One by Dalia. I hurt. Uh, so by Dalia, Gloria, and Akagami meal. Is there anything else I can do for you today? No, no, I see, no, no, fr no fries in that no meal. Fries, no. no fries. For Dalia, for Dalia. Wash your dryer. Wash your dryer. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, and you'll keep one. So not one for uh, ribeye, correct? Right. Okay. Uh, so above board, uh, the flowers of the Evergarden. Uh, when you decide to use uh, alchemy within the Evergarden uh, to make healing potions, uh, you can double your output of healing potions within the Evergarden. Uh, you'll I notice know. within the properties of the flowers themselves, uh, if you wish to extract them, uh, they do not live for long. So taking them and then saving them for later uh, will uh, unfortunately not have the same effect. In addition, uh, you can only use uh, the flowers that are in bloom, uh, not the ones that are still uh, buds. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're slowly growing over time. So as long as there is a flower in bloom available in the Evergarden, um, you could use an alchemical project to make four healing potions instead of the usual two. Good to know. Can I yeah. take some that are in bloom now to have just in case we leave the Evergarden? What do you mean? Like, what did you say? Like, can I, can I extract a few and so hold... So just, no. just, just, just to repeat what I said, um, when you extract them, they quickly begin to die. So, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. so if you leave the Evergarden... garden, be here. Yeah, it has to, you have okay. to essentially oh, um, make the potions. Oh, that's so cool. Their potency but is limited so to this annoying. area. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay. Uh, and now, Gloria, because of your history check, as you kind of look around, uh, hmm. the ruins here within the Evergarden, um, yes... While they have deteriorated because of over a thousand, you know, thousands of years of age, um, you will actually see that that most of the deterioration is not well, not from the deterioration, but exact, but in fact, uh, these 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 gardens were destroyed uh, thousands of years ago. More likely, more than likely, from an orcish attack. You'll kind of see evidence as you kind of scout around the area of orcish weapons uh, that have taken place upon the ruins of the mm. Evergarden. So while this used to be a, a gar an elvish garden, uh, it has ended uh, from the influence of the orcs. Tragically. Yes. Cool. And is this, have we seen kind of like the most of it? Is, is there, is this the main ruin or is there more to explore? Is, have we kind of seen what remains basically? Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check, Gloria. Oh, okay. 
Investigation. Uh, you will see, as you begin to kind of like look mm, around, mm, 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 um, mm. You, you know, you're fascinating. You're looking within the ruins, the overgrown gardens. Um, and as you arrive at an old, uh, what it appears to be just this dried out, old, destroyed elvish fountain, uh, you'll kind of see behind it, covered within nature and vines, where the land has given way, and a cavern is underneath the Evergarden. I'll go back to the team and be like, okay, uh, I mean, historically, this place is fascinating. Um, I found a cavern that I think is sort of underneath here. I think that if there's anything more cavern. to find or see... Yeah, I think so. Just underneath the Evergarden, there's a there's a cave just behind that fountain. It's kind of hidden a little, um, but I think it sort of leads to a cavern underneath. Um, I mean, this place this place is amazing, but it, it was destroyed a very long time ago uh, in in an orc in, in, when the orcs attacked. Um, and I'm not sure that there'll be too much more to find here. I mean, I, I'm I'm taking notes for the guild, uh, but uh, I think that if we want to see anything more, it would be in the cavern below. I think. Did you see anything shiny? I didn't go in. I, I've literally just found the entrance. I, I don't want to go in too far without the rest of you, just in case. Field trip. Yeah? If, if yep. that's what it we want to do. Long, right? I think we got time. I mean, okay. we're going to come all this way and not go in the cavern? Yeah, to go in no, the cavern. No, that's true. That's true. And But we did find... I mean, I mean the fact that, that Pandora's got these potions is, is wonderful. It, it does make it very worthwhile that we came here. It was a very good decision. Um, <laughs> yes. Let's let's go see what's in this cavern, but let's be let's be cautious just in case. Yeah. You know what they say? You don't go to Lindau and not enjoy the Skagzag Festival. <laughs> they do say that. <laughs> that don't that they is true. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> eh. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the party will uh, go around the fountain, kind of pushing it off to the side a little bit, uh, where the where nature has hidden upon this cavern. And as you tear back the the vines and the grass and the wood and you pull it all back, uh, inside you will see a dark tunnel that descends down underneath the Secret earth. Secret tunnel. And as you Secret guys tunnel. as you guys step down, you'll feel a heaviness in the air. As if this area has not been disturbed for quite some time. And as you Ooh. descend uh, deeper within the cavern. And even though this land has not, this, this, this tunnel, this cave has not been disturbed, you can still hear the sound of something shifting. We're stealthing, right? You're, uh, you're not alone within Warriors these caverns. Fuck. Well, uh, feel free to roll a stealth check <laughs> next time on March of yeah, Wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Hey! Hey! hey, we did it! How far into session three do we get? Uh, you haven't even started we session three. Start. <laughs> yeah, we went, we didn't go in the cave. What did you guys think? Yes. <laughs> How oh far in session God. three are we? Uh, you are currently, apparently, between session two and three. We so. love many oh, sessions. If you make this campaign a module, you're going to have to add a disclaimer that it may go <laughs> way longer than intended. No, no, the, I mean, te the, the test game went on for significantly <laughs> longer. Look, look, DMs will normally kind of move. Uh, the, the the party in a certain direction typically uh, to continue on and press forward, but you know I tend to be like, hey, do whatever the fuck you want. Here's the consequences, and then we just yeah, then it just yeah. fleshes out the world and fleshes everything out. So uh, that's the better way to do it. Yeah, that's yeah, the better yeah. way to do it. That's right uh, way out of interest, it. is was the Evergarden in your like notes for like session one or two, or have we gone completely? Nope. nope yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> was, I did wonder yeah. how yeah. far yeah. off. Like, other than the keep is like. I mean, I I. I I have like a, a series of miscellaneous encounters yeah. as if as you guys continue yeah, to explore. Yeah. yeah, and obviously I I, I don't want to reveal all of my secrets. No, but, no, no. Of course, but, uh, I'm just but yeah, there de but there definitely is um for especially for parties that tend to be inquisitive slash want to go off the the beaten path. They uh -huh. go, okay, get ready, <laughs> you know? So, so yeah, yeah, so, you know, all of that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, they're, um, one of the cool things about crafting 
is that there are locations uh, around mm. the world that allow you to create unique projects uh, by using the materials or ingredients that are within the area. So, for example, the Evergarden um, has a special kind of flower that allows you to create uh, more uh, potions, uh, more potions that heal essentially by using mm. the ingredients that are within the Evergarden itself, uh, allowing you to be like, "Hey, we need more healing potions. We should all probably travel." Uh, we should probably all travel to, you know, the Evergarden and, and do that. And then, or mm -hmm. you can establish a business there or build something there. And it just, it, it gives you, it gives. Yeah, I gotta off. take a phone cool. call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, all right. Well, uh, you guys ready for some bingo and some fan yes. art? Yes. Give me that bingo. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Oh, wow. 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 Okay. I'm going to go live with that because I think that's over the Now area. the student has become the master. Poggy, poggy, poggy. And wow. wow. And then I... uh, it's bingo time, baby. Where's my bingo? Bingo time. I can't believe I woke up this morning and didn't know it was Wednesday. And then we just <laughs> did that. Yeah, that, that uh, <laughs> that's that sounds about right. That's that's my life in a nutshell. We talked to a tree man, freed an owl bear, and discovered some ruins. Well, yeah. Gil is my favorite PC ever. He's so cute. Yeah, he Almond cute. Gil. He's literally Groot, but like cuter. Oh, Groot. <laughs> He's great. I do love Gil. Hey, so did you know you guys can play bingo over on our Discord? You guys bingo. can play along and suggest <laughs> some names. Episode <laughs> six, a bone to pick. Yeah, uh, I have to admit, uh, HB's got some pretty awesome random titles for. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> bone to pick with you. Not, uh, they, the titles have nothing to do with what's happening in the game, but, uh, you know, it's fun. It's fun. All right. That's like my podcast. It's just fun. It's just fun. Time to create a card. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Lack of potion problems? I'd say yeah. <laughs> oh, nat, yeah. nat 20? I'd say I yeah. I had one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Kagami Changeling We lore? tried. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was dismissed pretty fucking quickly. I was failed, gonna push him. failed death saving throw? Nope. Uh, no right. combat at all, actually. Uh, shadow shadow veil interference. I don't know what that means, but we did do shadow veil talk, so I will say yes. I'm gonna say yes, okay. but yeah. Rabbit uh, jokes. Uh, <laughs> rabbit jokes. Uh, I think we did with the children pulling at. Um, yeah, pulling the ears. I yeah. So. Uh, charm mind control effect. There was discussion of it, but it did not no, happen. It happen. So I will not check it off. Blacksmith time. Blacksmith, Blacksmith time, time with Kagami. Mm -hmm. uh, skeleton dance. Did you do a skeleton dance at all? Yeah, I don't he know. Did, actually, I, you know you did. I remember, right? You were, we were all like. I mean, he uh, waved his boner around. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. Yeah, as, they, that, they do that, that dance. Yeah. Yeah. The places. moment you said waves your boner around, I will count that as the skeleton. Dance. Rhythmically. Uh, cooking with ribeye. Yep. Yes. Uh, Silvona lore. Oh, uh, yeah, we got yes. a little bit. We, we got, got a little, little bit. They mentioned their parent that they'd not mentioned before. Yeah, 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 friend yeah. doesn't make it. Jesus. <laughs> I love that. Would have been uh, more fitting if we went into the keep, I think. Yeah. Player vibe check. Did you guys hydrate? Uh, got something to snack on? Free yeah. I... Biscuits? Biskies? Yeah. I got a pa Sprite. Pandora doesn't get hit. Yep. <laughs> we didn't have contact. contact uh, combat, keep, so yeah. That was an ambitious one. Keep, we yeah. didn't enter the keep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ambitious of you. Yeah. Dice go hard against the players. Yep. I think an owl bear <laughs> quick. We'll do oh, it. Yeah. God, yeah, yeah, that one was also, just the f the roll of a four for a heal was kind of. Why, just why is Ribeye waves his bow? Who put Ribeye? Wait, this was. They got that in this quick. Was made after after we had the the of the episode. Yeah. I think, I think <laughs> that was after you said adding yeah. to the bingo. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, then. We can get rid of. Yeah, we can get rid of Skeleton yeah. Dance. Then. I mean, what if he did both? What if technically, Ribeye did not wave their boner. Is that correct? Like, I we just. I know, because, uh, because, um, what is it? Gil waved his woody and ribeye waved his bone. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, okay. True. First of all, that can't, you can't add a category post 
what it when happening. something happens. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say yeah, no. Not I think that's it. Said it. Yeah, that's There's a cheaty no square. That says we can't that's meta gaming. That, that is. That's a cheaty square, and thus I say no. Uh, flirting Dude. amongst PCs. Probably, <laughs> yeah, no, that, it definitely, yeah. Ke Kelly did be, would be doing that. So, there was, so, there was trouble with trouble. Kissings. Trouble with ribeye's HP. I'm gonna say no, even though the discussion. Not in this came episode. Up. No. Yeah. yeah. I have come up with a new recipe. Yes, you yeah. did. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, Skeleton puns. Yeah. Yeah. Pandora, Pandora, Pandora. You said that at the beginning. Hey, I got a bingo. Hey. hey. Combat respite. Nope. Boom, boom, boom. Not I one. got an app. Yep. Yes. Something catches fire at the campsite. Nope. All right. So we got one bingo. Let's <laughs> go. Let's, ooh, Let's go. Let's freaking go. Bingo, baby. Nice. Bingo. All right. Nice. 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 Oh, that's proper nice, that. That's proper nice. Fucking lovely. <laughs> Bastard. Oh, <laughs> God. All right. Uh, that's proper nice, that. Proper nice, isn't it? Uh, All right. Beautiful it. bastard. Proper nice, that, yeah. Fan Wicked, art. Mate. Wicked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this was last week. I love when I love that I keep getting drawn <laughs> so small because Pandora's like really tall, but like in yeah. all of these drawings, she's like tiny, it's, and I love. You know why it. that is? Because she's radiant gremlin, gremlin energy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that gremlin energy. energy. Yeah. Or, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. 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 I like how the bus is over there in the corner. Yep. Uh, oh. Hey yo. We got some music. music? Got some music. It's a little Kagami's Forge music. Oh, I like the kind of yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Nice little oh, like the fucking oh. hammer beats. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, darling. What do you want, Fred? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, just have like a form of software What book. are you selling? Man, I make the I, finest oh, enchanted weapon for the side of London. It's on sale, stranger. Just for, uh, for months now, I've had the desire to make like a, a dark gothic fantasy world. And just mm -hmm. hearing this just really gets me in that mood. It really <laughs> drives it home. Oh, starring, Ka starring Kagami. <laughs> and, and what, what's, uh, what's really unfortunate is I won't be able to do that or make something like that for for probably years because we're in the middle of ioverse now but mm. it's something i keep in the back of my mind one day one day bloodborne bosses bloodborne bosses <laughs> uh blood uh, that is uh asmodia in fact the next campaign uh which is i believe what did I, what, did I, what am i gonna call the next campaign takes place uh in the shadow gate of asmodia um uh, and it's essentially a bloodborne um, Very cool. Uh, 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 not uh, uh, a Bloodborne, uh, uh. so yeah, there would be Bloodborne bosses. That's uh, so sick. Shadows Breach is what I think I'm calling that campaign. So that'll be cool. Uh, okay, team, <laughs> our first mission is to find some vampires and end them. Ain't she just darling? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I am the sorry. Have I come to the wrong meeting? <laughs> oh no, there's one now. Get him. <laughs> I, I love Smug Hellebore. <laughs> <laughs> Piper. Holy shit. So good. Hey, yo. I like the crossover art. Oh, Mantle oh, of inspiration. Yes. Yes. That's cool. Dude, it's <laughs> like freaking attack, baby. dang and rompa, dude. That's Quibsy. sick. That's uh, it's it's a uh, Persona Five, I Persona think. Persona Five. Yeah. 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 Oh, same creators. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Quimson enjoyed oh, the. Uh, I just finished that game. Enjoy your fan art uh, role. Very cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one was good. The like, facial what? expressions are really all upon. This is so good. <laughs> new new fan artist. The damsels. Oh, yeah. keto. Look, so look at this hot boy. Exact blood. I hope yeah. maybe I doesn't am. awaken anything in me. Anyway. <laughs> I like how the, the front lock of your hair is blocking the front of the skag zag blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oh, we'll never know if that thing's like a Ken doll or not. Pandora. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all are so fucking oh, that's talented. so good. Hell uh, yeah. This one's called, uh, and I quote, Remeated Reb Ribeye. <laughs> Remeated. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bubblegum Cow. <laughs> Ribeye, Remeated. And Pandora's flirting style. 
Pandora's <laughs> face when she's trying to flirt with somebody she doesn't find attractive compared to Pandora's <laughs> face when she's trying to flirt with someone she yeah. does find attractive. I feel like this is me, so not Pandora. <laughs> Eyes going in two different directions, frothing at the mouth. Oh my god. And we got some little doodles. Oh. I love the top left guild playing the pan flute. Toot, toot, toot. <laughs> Oh boy! All right. Yeah, people. People have worked out that uh, Gloria wears glasses, but has rabbit ears. So does that mean that she has human ears <laughs> under her hair? Mm. I was. Mm. I I think I I, I have. Or an are answer. they magic glasses? Yeah, I have an answer for that, <laughs> um, but I won't Who say. Knows? Okay. It could be I anyone. won't say. But but but. Brad has more of an idea than I do. Yeah. So because <laughs> uh, I, I was just gonna be like magic, does it? Yeah. The uh the I mean you could wear glasses that just fit over your nose. Uh the the you yeah. yes. Uh the half lagomounds do not have two sets of ears. They have one set of ears, and it is the bun bun ear. So there you go. Bun ears. There yeah. you go. So it's just like they've got like a little strap. It's not actually like arms. It's straps around yeah, the back like of little, their head. Yeah, little, little goggles. Yeah. It's how they yeah. stay on in combat too. Yeah. <sighs> All right, gang. Um. Uh, significantly more secure than regular glasses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think, thank you, Brett. From I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I was looking at the date. Yeah, we're good. You guys good for next week? Yes. All right. I'll, I'll see you guys then. Bye Brett, bye. please rest. Get rest. I yes. will. I good. will rest. Have a good 4th of July, everybody. Oh, bye bye. Yeah. Happy 4th of July, American friends. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. All right, guys. Uh, we got some good shit going on. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's session. Uh, today at... Um, uh, what does that to say? Today... At, uh, to, uh, we're going to raid into Couples Couch because I got access to Monster Hunter Sunbreak. And Masse did too. And we're playing it now. We're playing it now. So I'm very excited about that. We're going to be giving that a nice old play. A nice old play. Um, and we're going to check it out. Yeah, we're playing it, playing it now. Uh, so we're going to go through everything real quick. Guys, Patreon. We're, I think we're literally one patron away from 300. So you're going to like, if you can like become a patron, even if it's $3, right? Just, just, I want to see 300. I want to feel good about that. We're at 299 patrons right now. We've got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, $5 has all the MP3s of every session. Uh, $10 has work in progress, region maps, as well as uh, it's the only place where the IO of our soundtrack is currently being posted. We'll have one on Spotify soon. $20 is Game Master Notes, including a bunch of 5EV stuff that is not a part of IO uh, that you can use in your own personal D&D games. Lots of cool stuff. Please support. Please, please, please. If it's your first time watching IO, welcome. We got a YouTube channel youtube.com slash world of IO subscribe 245 episodes in phase two uh over 45 in phase three we're doing awesome discord join our happy little discord uh check out fan art join us in uh bingo hang out uh, organize D, D games all that fun stuff all that fun stuff yeah uh yeah all right gang uh, that was a real quick rundown. I hope you guys don't mind. And uh, I think we're done. I think we're done with this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you very much. I'm raiding Couples Couch. Because uh, I'm literally going to stop streaming on this channel. And I'm going over to Couples Couch to stream the new Monster Hunter. Uh, thanks to Capcom for providing that there thank you guys so much for watching really do appreciate you uh and i'm gonna see you guys in a minute up uh, for that uh doot doot see you guys then bye bye